Welcome to the stream. Hello. How's everyone doing? I'm switching out of studio mode there. Um, welcome. We're playing uh, Renature tonight. This is actually the first game that we ever streamed was Renature. Mm -hmm. And um, we are really excited to play it again. And I see Daryl Andrews here and Deadpan is here as well. Hello. So welcome. Um, yeah, uh, Daryl Andrews, this is this is a great game. Uh, it's We are kind of on a little bit of a Kramer and Kiesling kick right now. We played Paris on Monday, and now we're playing this. And um, On Thursdays, we try to play games we've played like once or have played a long time ago The in the mm -hmm. proverbial back of our shelves. Yeah. <laughs> um, usually because it's like I have a, I've had a full work week and I just want to replay something instead of learn something new. Um, but hello, Brain in a Jar, and good night, Moon, and Plumpy Thimble. Have any of you played Renature? Uh, I know Brain in a Jar has some love for it. Yeah, we tried out some new commands. Someone had made a good point about streaming and how when you jump into a game, you don't always know what the game is or um, <laughs> what the two the two or more players or one player is thinking so we we tried out something new <laughs> good night moons ask uh how the transition back to work is oh thanks for asking it's been pretty good um i think the murmurs of how crazy work was was a lot worse than it actually was so and the nice thing is we have a spring break so i have i only worked for um, six days and then I have a week break. So it's kind of like <laughs> the, the best situation. <laughs> it's the, a uh, lot easier transition than some other people. So, yeah. yeah. Good night, Moon. Uh, Renature, it's, it's, takes a lot from dominoes, uh, as inspiration. So it's got these fun dominoes here. Um, if you don't look, cause this oh. is, this is one of my starting ones, but instead of numbers, it's animals. And so you have to match the animals. Sorry. Um, with each other on the board and um, it mixes that with area control. So um, there's gonna be zones that we're trying to surround and um, whoever, cause we also have these fun wooden uh, trees and bushes and grass and stuff. And um, we place those into clearings and that is kind of an area control game. So it's both dominoes plus uh, trying to take over little clearings. But yeah. Yeah. That's a great, mm -hmm. yeah. Between Mahjong and dominoes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't played Mahjong as much, but um, yeah, they're very satisfying wood um, dominoes too, which is, which is fun. And I think you make a good observation about how it's kind of mahjong like and that like there's like these stacks and whatnot because I think we Andrew and I were talking there's a game that we really like called Illamot and the, the whole design is just trying to well not the whole design but one of the designer had told us um, that it was she really wanted to make it feel like an old like folk game so they mm -hmm. had like wooden pieces cloth board um, um, glass like pieces and I think it's so interesting how those little cues in the components kind of like she didn't have to say it for us to be imagining it and we mm -hmm. um and so in the same way with like these type of tiles like I could see um people from a lot of different generations who are not super familiar with um like newer board games can kind of see things that look like dominoes or you know look like mahjong tiles and feel like oh this is familiar and and maybe um, i'm willing to try it out or mm -hmm. um, it's not as scary because they can kind of orient themselves to it yeah. and uh also the um griff talk says they focus oh, yeah. on sustainable components and is that uh capstone games or is that deep print it looks like they're both somehow involved with the publishing um I know. Uh, Develop the game. Yeah, I guess yeah. it could be this game, but maybe it's also... Deep print. Okay, mm. yeah. I was, I was thinking, I was like, I know um, Capstone Games is, is great, uh, but I hadn't heard of the, uh, the uh, kind of sustainable um, focus. 
Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. But that's really cool, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm trying not to read Pia's strat- strategy here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Capstone is the U.S. partner that localizes it. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what other games have Deep, Deep Print made? Uh, I'm curious. Because... Uh, I yeah, that's a great that's a great model that they they have sustainable practices. business practices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Deep Print is new. Okay, so this must be their <laughs> first game. Well, they hit it out of the park with the first <laughs> one because I really like this one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just got that great uh, kind of simple to learn, hard to master type thing. It's in Capstone's simply complex line, which uh, <laughs> the other game in that line is The Estates. If anyone's played it, which is another really great one. Um, oh, we really like yeah. Seeds. Simple turns, simple to learn, but then so much interaction. <laughs> and thank you, Brain in a Jar. Yeah, we were trying to figure out um, just like a a way for when people jump in late, um, just to orient themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, by the way, I have not laughed so hard in a stream. Andrew was playing um, Beyond the Sun on BGA, and Brain in a Jar, <laughs> and Johnny Death. Hawk were streaming and there was a chat delay and it was so um it was Long live the monkey king <laughs> it was so funny andrew was like you keep laughing like <laughs> yeah daryl was, was there as well no 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 yeah. but he was just like what's happening because i was playing um i was playing a switch game and like ha- i had it in the background it was very entertaining um so uh, I know I know tech stuff sucks, but also it was very fun to see the delayed reactions. I was telling Andrew, it almost felt like like Daryl, Benita, everyone who came in from Benita's stream or, or who was already there in Brain and Jar's um, channel. It was almost like we were like like talk I felt like I was like a kid in the back of the class. Like we were like talking about people and then like them finding out later, even though it wasn't anything mean or anything, but it was just mm-hmm. kind of this weird like that distance of like the chat delay just it was so funny but anyways <laughs> daryl andrew says deep print also published kyoto kyoto uh which oh. is another environmentally thing i just saw that one pop up uh on like uh miniature market and cool stuff inc or whatever like on online on the online stores and i never heard of it and the theme seems really cool actually you're you um all play uh different governments that are trying to uh, save the world, I guess, through because the environment's going to collapse. Uh, but the goal of the game is to make the most profit. So it puts you in the place of kind of what is kind of happening in our world. It, it kind of mm. has some uh, satirical like commentary. Mm. It seems like just from what it was that everyone is out to try to profit off of this but also the world's getting destroyed in the process of it so definitely is a game it's a game that's it's trying to say something um it and it seems like it's very negotiating um which is which is a big uh plus for me that's one of andrew's favorites is negotiations one of my favorite mechanics and probably one of the most like one of Mm -hmm. the things you anticipate highly anticipated thing for you once things are opening up and our friends are getting vaccinated and we're almost fully vaccinated um is the the um the t- the table talk the games that just excel with the table talk mm-hmm. um, lots of good table talk is always a big hi problem. miguel <laughs> uh griff dog says deep print publishes rorschach, rorschach rorschach kyoto and juicy fruits i definitely botched the first one um <laughs> I hadn't heard of those two. Juicy Fruits and Rorschach are coming. Okay, they're not out yet. That's probably why. Daryl Andrews says, Is it bad that I want Brayden Jar and Johnny Deathhawk to disagree on games more? Well, the funny <laughs> thing is, Daryl Andrews, I saw the last part of the also he's a fan of Renature 2 that Brayden Jar just said. And I was like, oh, okay, so they don't disagree on Renature. Because I was thinking about that because it was so funny. If For those who... I don't know, Brayden Jar, if there's a VOD of that um, stream up on your um on your channel but if there is Hmm. people should check it out because it's so it was so funny you can do that so oh yeah of course yeah um Um, but then as you after you do that we can kind of 
flipped scenes to this. This was actually, not only was this our first, the game we first streamed, it's one of the first games that we learned after we had a kid and we were like, we can do this. We can integrate games sooner than other people think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they seem to be partnering with Capstone and Pegasus Spe Spiel, Spiel yeah, for like, on distribution. That's great. Um, I'm I'm excited to see more games from them. If it's, mm -hmm. if any of them even come close to the, the quality of this one. Um, well, and you were saying that this so this was similar to Paris, right? And it was someone in or it's the same designer, same Paris, designer. Yeah. But it was I was thinking actually about that stream. I was like, hey, we. We played Paris the other day, and like someone had mentioned, they really liked the sound of all the tiles. And then I was like thinking about actually a game that sounded really nice, and I actually thought about this. And then I, mm. it makes sense. That, I mean, not it doesn't make sense, but the 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 theme of the same publisher. <laughs> uh, to jog your brain, because I know I just looked back through the rule book, but it's been a while since we played. Um, the basics of how this works is on your turn, you place a tile. If you can't place a tile, then you discard a tile out of the game. We each have our own decks of randomized tiles here, 26 for a two-player game. And then, uh, so you place a tile, and on your first placement, there's a couple first placement... Um, like a darker outline. Yeah, darker outline spots here. It's hard to... It doesn't really pick up on the camera, but basically starter spots. And then... Um, Every other tile afterwards has to always match the animals. Uh, so let's say... And the animals are seen here. Yeah, um, at the top here. So if you've got a turtle, or turt, as we like to call it... Because uh, of over you, the garden wall. <laughs> you have to place another turt next to your previous turt um, to be able to place the, the domino in the same way that dominoes works. And so you see these uh, green trails that wander around. Um, and then the brown clearings. Um, so what we're, our goal is you place a tile and then you can place any one of your plants. And there's four sizes of plants. So it's kind of the equivalent, roughly equal to like one, two, three, and four. So that's the points they're worth and their value. Um, yes, so there is one tile of each combination. Uh, Daryl Andrews, he asked if there's a roughly equal Different. So there's only one double snail tile, uh, and there's only one snail tile with a gecko, uh, and then there's only a gecko, one gecko and frog tile, uh, and so on and so forth. So every combination I think uh, is represented once, and then of course a double tile for each one. So if you see the double tile for one, you know you're not ever gonna get it. Um, and um, so make it count. So make it count. Yeah. Definitely can play into your strategy. Um, yeah, and so you place your tile, then you place a plant in the clearing that is adjacent to it. So if I placed a tile here, I'm showing a few of my tiles here, uh, I could place a um, grass. grass in this clearing or in this clearing, uh, my choice. And then I score points at that moment for every plant in this clearing that is the same size or smaller. And so, as I said, it goes one, two, three, and four. Um, if I placed a big tree in this clearing uh, here, I would score four points for the big tree and then one point for the, the smaller item. But if I had um, did it the opposite, if I had put this first, I would then place the big tree um, or I'd score the big tree, so four points, and then if I pr place grass later, I would only score one point because the big tree is larger. So it's always the same size and smaller scores. And you can score off your opponent's um, trees as well. So your opponent might be building up an area, and then you can kind of swoop in and score a bunch of points if you'd like. Um, Come in with a big redwood. I don't know if it's called redwoods, but I just think about it <laughs> so I, it's like advantageous to kind of hold off and select when you want to use your bigger um yeah because um, this is all these are all the ones we get for the game so we only get three of the four point ones for the whole game um and then all right so then you're also so you you'll notice that we have two colors we either have the the brown kind of wood neutral ones and then the colored ones 
of our player color and the um, reason that matters is if you choose one of your own color then when this zone this clearing scores um, for area control this is going to count towards my area control uh, but the neutral ones aren't so if you don't care about winning a certain zone you can place a neutral one or other reasons um, and then each zone has a tile in it like this that's randomized that's, so different areas yeah. are different points end game scoring points mm -hmm. which by the way this one doesn't have a area control is oh, that normal yeah yeah no no it should have one i thought i had an extra one i was like i should have placed one more it's like i, I don't remember that but um yeah Actually, I won't, I won't jump into that really quick. Um, all right, and then the last part is when they score. They score, uh, a zone scores once it's fully surrounded. Um, and uh, so these smaller ones can be surrounded easier. And the interesting thing is because the scoring numbers are randomized, in this particular one, this large area is only worth two points. Only two! Um, and then... Uh, we actually played two things wrong last time when I was looking back through the rules. Mm -hmm. One is your animals have all the animals on the tile have mm -hmm. to always match. So we were always the placing one always matched for us, but we weren't paying attention to the second one. Oh, so got sometimes it. Interesting. It, that is hard to do. And then the other thing is whoever so you score the points for first and second place on the tile uh, for area majority, and then. Whoever closed off the circle is the one who takes the thing. Oh, interesting. And there are um, bonus secret points. secret points on the back uh, that we're going to flip over at the end of the game. So um, you could initiate the, the scoring of a zone in order to grab those bonus points, mm. um, even if you're not in the zone. So um, as long as you're the one who seals the deal. And you, and then so from the starting point where the the domino or the the play thing is placed, then you mm -hmm. we're building from there. Yeah, we're building mm -hmm. from there. So yeah, so the turn goes: place your domino. Then if you placed a domino, uh, place your domino or discard one. Then if you did it, discard place a bush. one. Yeah, you could discard it if you if you can't place a domino, basically. And you, it's you, out for it for uh, forever. Yeah. Ooh. So if the, if you like don't want. If there's one that's too dangerous, you're like, oh no, I know that they're going to be able to do something good with that. You could do that. But most of the time, it's kind of like you can't play something, so you okay. discard. I'll have to ask again when that when that comes up, because I, I it's, think... I we probably won't use that. Okay. But anyways, and if I think it's just to catch edge cases. Okay. Um, so place a domino, and then place a bush, grass, plant thing. Um and then coniferous if, tree deciduous tree yeah then you and then if you did that then you score the plant and then you check to see whether or not the place has been closed off and so that's a turn and uh then you drop of course back to three so yeah, Let, yeah. i'll have you narrate your turn so that the chat and yeah. i can see uh the only the only thing left uh and this is important for you to know if you, usually we don't go this in depth into the rules but uh, we didn't I'm get a learning. chance to uh, relearning relearn it beforehand. Relearn, so, renature. Um, we also have these clouds here that are on our player boards. We kept calling them sheep. <laughs> clouds got... and or sheep. Um, <laughs> there each... more board games need more sheep. <laughs> yes, all the board games need sheep. Uh, each of those are worth a point at the end of the game. Or you could spend them to do bonus actions during mm. the game. Mm, okay. And so... Uh, you can spend two clouds here to change which animal is wild. And so one animal at a time is wild, which means you can count as any animal. And so you could move this around uh, for your own benefit. And then... Oh my um, gosh, the cat looks like she's going to... She, for some reason, really likes... Sorry, we're like staring. Yeah, she's like, she may jump into all our cameras and wires. And stuff. <laughs> we'll see. Back up. Back up, Musashi. <laughs> she you can't doesn't... see it, but this is terrifying. <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, the other actions are you can take an entirely new turn. Um, and oh, there's that a great is little three. Right here. Yeah, yeah there's three, three 
clouds do a whole new turn. Um, and then otherwise you could play the number of clouds for the value of bush or whatever to uh, pull a bush back. So if you want to get one of these big trees back, you can spend four uh, clouds to get your trees back. Where, where is there a visual for that? Okay, four yeah. clouds to get the tree back. Mm -hmm. Three, two. Get that tree back. Two, one. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, it's just specific to that. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the turn structure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So place a tile and then um, and then place a a wooden um, tree structure. Then score. What's this one? Score. Score. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And then grab another tile. So you should mm -hmm. you should always have three. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. And we also uh, always love hearing what people in the chat have been playing. If you've played anything today or in the last few days that you really enjoyed or didn't enjoy for that matter, let us know. Um, we love hearing about what games are getting played. Also, if you're playing something while you're watching, we like to know we that like too. We like to know that too. It's so always fun. Please. So, yeah, no problem, Daryl. Officially, right, in the rules, it says the person who went on a walk most recently. <gasps> Oh, that's you. Uh, which I just got back from a walk. Mm -hmm. You went on <laughs> a walk? At like seven. <laughs> so, uh, but it doesn't have to be me. No, okay. it's definitely you. All right. So let's give this a start. I don't have a strong opening move at all. But what's what's the values up here? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just start right there. And I am going Snail to... Snail and a badger. So that's the um, first one. Yeah, there's a really great little player aid here. It's, it's kind of weird. It must have been the fog of just... That. The postpartum fog, because I do not recall, like... All some this of, assistance. Yeah, I guess, yeah, all the, like, um, little cues that they were giving us. Ooh, that is really... So I scored a point off of that, because it's one grass. Um... Ooh, deadpan playing Dorf Romantic. Yes! Again slash still. <laughs> <laughs> it's life is just an ongoing game of Dorf Romantic. It's 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 life in between Dorf Romantic games at this point. Uh Pia was playing yesterday and um okay. our cat is oh. going wild right now. Okay. Musashi, you're like making There's a bunch like of noise. a bunch of neighborhood cats <laughs> that hang out outside, so sometimes she like we think about it as her her um she's in this castle wa might, that watches the outside the, yeah you might yeah she might need some attention that might be she's, it she's doing very attention grabbing activities so, right, i'm gonna go. play this right here Ooh, Griff Dog, Pass Me the Scythe, and Cosmic Frog! Oh, I'm so jealous. Cosmic Frog? I uh, really want to play that. Yeah, I've gotten my second vaccine shot, so in two weeks, or in a little over two weeks, I have a couple other friends who've been fortunate enough to get vaccines, and uh, we are getting together, we're playing some games, and I'm going to make a big push for playing Cosmic Frog, because... Very excited to play it. Because two, definitely... because two, two mile high frogs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Her gang, for sure. Yeah. Musashi is your gang out there. Um, so I placed this, Andrew. And then, um, so I score two as well, right? Mm hmm. And then. Oh, we got incoming. We got a raid. Oh, wow. Uh, All right. We're so. Ready. And thanks, Griff Dog. I yes. love the vaccines. <laughs> Hi, ah. Hornist! Whoa, the G like showed yeah, up a at little the bit end. at the end. There's a delay. <laughs> Welcome, again. Raiders. All right, so we do analog alerts here. This is our Raid Idol who comes out and says, Welcome to the stream. Welcome, Raiders. Um, the, the Raid Idol updates you what we're doing. We're playing Renature. This is the first game we streamed, and we really wanted to replay a game. We usually replay games that we... I've only gone to play once on Thursday, so I'm Pia. And I'm Andrew, and we are Board Game Spam. Yeah. We stream Mondays and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We tend to play games of um, uh, IRL games, physical games. We're trying to get through our collection, mm -hmm. uh, which we keep buying new games, so that makes it harder <laughs> to do when we new games show up all the time but eventually <laughs> suddenly <laughs> yeah i don't know where they come from they just appear but uh 
So welcome, Raiders. Thanks for joining us. Uh, um, if any, yeah. Brothers got Murph, a couple... what were you yeah. playing? I'm trying to remember. I thought I saw... I, I know this Maracaibo, right? I think I saw oh. on the on the um, like um, who was online when we were jumping yeah. onto. Yeah, and what do you who won? Yeah, I hope to know that. Um, so quick question, Andrew. Mm -hmm. um, so I placed that, and then so I get two points because they are two points. How do I know how many points it is? It's always the same size or smaller. Mm -hmm. You score all of the the plants in there, so, so one I get point. one point. Mm -hmm. Got it. And also, for those who came in with the Brothers Murph, did you, are you currently playing any games or have you played anything that you really enjoyed? Yeah, we always, uh, one of our big things is we like being the cue for people to start something fun, play something, uh, take care of yourself and uh, do something enjoyable. So if you're playing a game along on stream or playing a video game, uh, I know there's some Dorf Romantic being played out there. Uh, let us know. We love to hear about what is going on. Yeah, I usually Ooh, I didn't feel like... Oh, I didn't draw either. I, I usually feel like I have to like be productive before I get to do something fun. And then the list of being productive is always way longer than um, you expect. <laughs> so this streaming has actually been a really great way for us to set aside intentional time to play games. Um, because usually I find an excuse not to play by the time the evening rolls in. And it's a bummer because it's always a good time. <laughs> uh, Cash Liam says, Nick won and is going to retheme the game as a paperboy route. That is awesome. <laughs> I've heard there might benefit from a retheme. So. <laughs> I, 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 I vote for the paperboy yeah, route. For, that sounds like a great retheme. Uh, any Rondell, you know, could be rethemed as paperboy route. So <laughs> someone should take that project on just... All these Rondell games, just retheme every single one as a paper, paper route. Um, well, it was interesting. Uh, Brandon Ajar was talking about a game that she got that was po that's Polish. And it's like a, a, a game about standing in lines. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm doing a terrible job, um, like, repeating it. But that's the thing that, like, stood out in my, in my brain because I spent a lot of time growing up standing in immigration lines. So I was like, oh, this, I get this. Like, I, I understand what this feels like. And a gamified version actually sounds really funny to me. Um, and so, I don't know, the, the kind of the quirky themes, just, I'm a sucker for those. Um, glad, glad to hear you, you folks can get some game friends together. Yeah, definitely play Cosmic Frog. It's a blast. It's one that I keep looking at and Andrew's like, it needs more people, Pia. And I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> Cars yeah, and I, I would be interested in playing it two players, but I've just heard it's so good with more that I don't want to. I don't want to taint our experience. <gasps> um, watch this turn. Okay, it's a it's a woodpecker oh, no. and um, snail combo. Yeah, yeah, the perfect yeah. piece. <sighs> oh, that feels really great. Um. Yes, there it is. I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Kolejka. Yeah. Our Polish is not... Yeah, Actually, Brandon Jar, we, we have a friend who is on streams or in chat sometimes, and he went to Poland, and I feel like he would just love that theme. Because so what's that game that we played that's like you're painting... Waiting in the... line for the elevator. For the elevator. <laughs> that's even more... Uh, that's even more specific. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. the um, But our friend... Or there is a game. What's the game where you are trying to paint the emperor? Oh, Sakura. Sakura. Yeah. We mentioned. It's great. It's a push your luck game uh, where everyone's trying to paint the emperor. And they're they're like jostling for a good like position yeah. to paint, like so a your, good distance. Your goal is to get as close to the emperor as possible. But if you touch him, or get too close, yeah, then it's bad, and you have to move way back into the line. And so. Uh, every movement is dependent on how other people move, and it's just a funny, funny time. But our friend Duke of though. Frank, um, he, I was like, I don't know if he's going to be into this, and he was like all about it. He like he talks about the painting the the emperor game, and it's funny because he's like pretty, I wouldn't say ruthless, but he's really good at like highly aggressive games, um, and so it's just fun to for him uh, to see him get super stoked about a painting the emperor game <laughs> yeah um and i feel like waiting in line for an elevator i think that would just crack him up especially because 
he, he's gone to Poland. Go Hi, Coco Kitchen. Coco Kitchen. Welcome. Um, uh, welcome An- to the stream. Daryl Andrew says oh, the, uh, to, that we should play Papers, Please. Uh, which actually, that makes me feel old because you said it's an old video game, but I remember that coming out. and I've... So you're not old so unless Andrew's old. old. Yeah. <laughs> you're only as, as old as your, as your heart. Uh, but I haven't played it yet. I would. It has always been on my list, though. Yeah, we old. <laughs> <laughs> Coco Kitchen. Um, I I was I was telling people we typically hang out in the board game like channel, but I've been he- hanging out in the food like um, food and drink channel of Twitch, and I love your channel. So thank you for dropping in. <laughs> we typically play board games. Um, we have made hot pot on stream. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm scheming to make some food on stream just because I'm going to be cooking anyway. So why not? But thank you for coming. Um, yeah, we play board games and talk about board games. I don't know if you play any board games, Coco. Um, but yeah, this one's a really fun tiling game. And actually I was about to score Andrew. Um, the, I love board games. Oh, awesome. What are your, what are your favorites? And then I have a question. So I just scored, uh, or I just put this tile down, and then can I like place that, or do, do I have to wait for it to? You gotta place a bush or a, something. I'm gonna place. So if we tie, neither of us score. Okay, so I have to g- grab a bigger one, right? I think so. Yeah. I'm gonna do uh, but that that doesn't come off the board until yet. we surround until it. Until we surround it, yeah. Okay, I'm vying for a position. <laughs> Uh, which I think you'll beat me there. But actually, can you hand me the... Oh, like, I... oh Coco likes Splendor and Grizzly Diz exclusively plays Uno. <laughs> I like it. Um, awesome. Yeah, Splendor was one that we brought to the Philippines. And um, my cousins played it. Like, we played it with a couple of people. And then they started teaching it to the yeah. other cousins. And then suddenly, like the next morning, we didn't know where it was, and it someone else was playing it. Someone that we didn't, that wasn't part of the original teach, had grabbed it and like started playing it. So it is a very addicting game, and similar to this game, has really good like game sounds. Yeah. But Kitchen beats me in it a lot. Yeah, there's some people that get that are just like it just clicks in their brain. Um, and then yeah, so I, I, I liked Splendor until I just got beat in it over and over again. <laughs> By, because yeah. No, I think it, yeah, I think it clicks in my brain. I still, actually, I still really like Splendor. (laughs) That's not a dig in Splendor at all. Cash Liam says that they uh, got to play with their brother-in-law. I'm guessing the I.O. is brother-in-law. First time in a year, played Zulkin, Ginkopolis, and Taverns of Tiefenthal. Oh my gosh, that is (sighs) such a satisfying feeling. Uh, I remember... You have a great game endurance, Cash Liam. That's a lot of games in one, um, on Monday. But actually, maybe that's kind of the amount you would love to play in one day. I'm usually like, I played. Easily. easily. <laughs> and then I want to hang out near the board games. Um, mm-hmm. But. Um, Badger. The Badger is the guy right now. Sorry, I, I just went back into the game. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. My brain. We gave a little bit of a synopsis, Coco, about the game. But if you're interested in learning more about this game, um, you can do a exclamation point game or exclamation point Pia Strat if you want to know what I'm trying to do. Who knows if I can actually execute it or Andrew Strat exclamation point. Um, oh, hi, board Thanks. game blitz. Oh. oh my gosh, we got another one. Thank you for coming over. Oh, I realize we don't have our... Um... We, I started using oh, this screen for work, so kind of everything for streaming is all over the place, but this is our Raid Idol. Hello. Um, the Raid Idol welcomes you and um, says, thanks, Board Game Blitz, for raiding. What were you playing? Did you win? Um, I'm Pia. And I'm Andrew. And we're a Board Game Spam. We're going through our our like game collection, or at least the ones we can play two player. Um, so mm-hmm. we play physical games most of the time mm-hmm. um, on Mondays and Thursdays around eight ish. Once our baby falls asleep, so yeah. And uh, we do analog alerts in general, and, but we also just you'll see uh, the Monkey King, who is one of our analog alerts. 
Uh, also has some commands that you can do if you want to catch up on what's been either, happening. Yeah, what's been happening. Uh, Actually, mostly game. it's 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 what the game is. If you're curious, mm -hmm. or what Andrew or Pia is trying to do. Um. <laughs> So, Ambi, how's it going? I played a cool solo game of Duffers, a deck building golf game, but the solo game didn't have deck building. It's more, more solitaire. Mm. Ooh, cool. Yeah. There's no winning score. I got four over par. So that's a win for me since I would be really good. Uh, yeah, if I got four over par in a real game of golf, I would die. <laughs> that would be very, very good for me as well. Um, I don't think I've ever played golf Except mini golf. Now that I think oh, about really? it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I always thought it would be cool, but it was during tennis season. So I, that was like the one other sport that I feel like my, my parents would be okay with me playing. They were like, you can't play any contact sports. And it's not <laughs> even like, they said that volleyball was contact. They're like, you might like, like bounce into someone. They're like, you need a net to separate you. So I played tennis, but that's really not a thing. But I would, I would, I wanted to play or learn golf. Yeah. I took golf PE course in college, so I learned to play then. Oh, mm. that's awesome. Yeah. I did golf um, like summer camp and as a kid because mm -hmm. uh, my dad loves golf. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was never very good, but um, it was fun enough. Fun uh, has be... anyone played foot golf? <gasps> because that is a wild time. <laughs> uh, not every golf course allows it. It's usually probably the less prestigious golf courses <laughs> that have the foot golf, but it's like a giant hole that can fit a, basically a soccer ball. And uh, each time you kick the soccer ball is a swing. And uh, usually you go out with some drinks and it's uh, it's definitely a good time. But um, I'd highly recommend it. You played with your coworkers. Yeah, we like did as a team building thing for, for uh, my work. And <laughs> did, you, was, did you feel like the team was built? The team was built and they actually took like promotional photos for it while we were there. So there's still to this day a photo of uh, the my team um, with the, with, with, with football. the foot, football. Golf, football. foot golf. Yeah. Oh, Cash Liam says about four hours, sweet spot. Yeah, that is a good amount to play for th play three games. Frisbee golf is my fave golf Ooh, knockoff sport. Yes, <laughs> frisbee golf's fun. Frisbee golf. It gets fun. intense though. Have you ever been to like a disc golf course with? Because I in college we played frisbee golf with just regular frisbees, and we would just call. We'd be like, the hole is that tree over there, and then we would just have a good time. make it make it up as we go. Uh, but. If you go to a course and the disc golf players, they uh, they take it very, very seriously. And they're really good. Yeah, and they're really good. I don't think I realize how precise people could be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've forgotten the last time I played golf. It was at work, at a work event. It was normal golf, but team-based. <laughs> <laughs> when I visit my family back east, we go to courses and play. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I. It was something I didn't know about. Um, uh until i think within the last like three years that there was like full kind of courses um golf? disc golf oh, okay i was like you didn't know there was golf, golf. course <laughs> oh shoot um whose turn is it yours oh sorry um <laughs> got chatting we yeah. got chatting we like to chat with the with the, the chat with the chat chat um, with the chat dear. i think i think that's why why i also like um oh my gosh Oh, sorry. I'm like trying to think about if you're gonna mess with me. Um, uh, I think that's why I like the food and drink stream as well, where people you can chat with chat because people are like cooking and waiting for things like for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Board games, in theory, you could talk in between your turns, but are, we for, end up forgetting whose turn it is and get off track. But. Anderson Valley Brewing in Northern California. You oh, you can't play um, now have a frisbee golf course at the brewery. It will be my travel <laughs> when able to go. That's really awesome. I feel like that's the the um, the comboing of a, a bunch of great um, like great activities: brewery and frisbee golf course. Okay, I'm going here, and I ooh, I keep forgetting to. To, a to bush draw. here for three points. 
up to six. Nice. Oh, I Baby. guess we can. I guess we can talk out our time for those who are coming in. So we place a tile. That's the first thing. We're trying to connect um, the um, animals together. So I'm placing it this this frog and this frog next to each other, and then because I can access this little brown area, I can place a tile. And I'm gonna place a, a tile, a plant. Yeah, sorry, not. Yeah, yeah, no, a good. little um, grass right here. There's a turt on the board. There's first a, turt. There's a turt on the board, and then um, and Andrew and I are trying to surround these little brown like uh, dirt patches mm -hmm. so we can control those areas and get the points there. Yeah. That's a kind of a quick summary. It's a little area control and a little dominoes. a little dominoes. A little dominoes. Uh, all right. So, which Andrew and I were talking about how Renature, as Andrew figures out his turn, we're talking about how Renature has kind of like we would say a janky, um, like a janky cover. It's not the cover, but I think it's this font feels a little bit like something at least that I would draw like in like sixth grade, like fourth period <laughs> math. You know, speaking of sitting in the back of the class um, and kind of goofing off. Um, or like it kind of, if people are familiar with Radagast, I feel like this would be Radagast. Like yeah, his like font. His, if he had his a font and his board game. Shots fired, Grizzly Diz, shots fired. <laughs> the thing is, that being said, it's a beautiful production uh, yeah. inside the box. It, it is really, really nice looking. I feel like... He is very judgmental on fonts though. So just something <laughs> to know about Pia... If she sees a font, she's judging it. Uh, no, very but... few make it past her 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 uh, standards. I feel like I only make fun of things if I Bring like really heat. like it. <laughs> only because I I don't know. Like that's how we. What did we watch with a few friends? I forgot, but like it, usually, if if it's oh, something I don't like, I don't have an opinion on it. But if it's something, I don't something... know if this is a great idea, but I'm interested to try it. <gasps> so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this here. That's not closed, is it? Or that is, is it closed? That is closed. No. Okay. Um, why is that a bad thing? For you? Because that's. Oh wait, can you steal? I have that area. That's yeah. So mine. Okay. Pia gets this area because the, it's it's uh, one black grass uh, versus one... no white grass. So Pia gets six points. So I, I helped her get six points um, there, unfortunately for me. But because I closed it, I actually get this tile. And I'm going to get, there's bonus points on the back that I can look at. Pia can't. So um, you don't get the six, but you get whatever. I don't get any of these points, but I get this little tile. And at the end of the game. Interesting. And is trying a new strategy. I'm trying something new, something I didn't do last game. It was also a rule we kind of overlooked. So, oh, okay. Um, I don't know if this was the original, and then I score your original for... strategy that Mubot's, Mubot should be reinformed. Andrew's <laughs> trying a new strategy and it's stealing my points now. That's kind of the way the, the game works. Um, and then that's super The neutral color doesn't count towards area control, but it does count towards getting, you can score off of it when you place it. Um, because every tile um, gets a... Pia is the Gordon Ramsay of fonts. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the reason why we don't like it, or at least I don't like it, is I think it doesn't super fit with how the game looks inside. Mm -hmm. And so let's let's look back. Let's look back. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not that it's not the nature theme. I think it just might be the coloring of it. Um, and I feel like this drawing does not super fit with like the rest of this. So I don't know. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll be I'll I'm be mean to the games that I really like because I feel like they should be better. <laughs> <laughs> be better game. Be better. Be a better box cover. <laughs> but Andrew and I have talked about this. We don't we don't have any friends that are probably as quote unquote hardcore as we are, and so games have to really the like, box cover has to sell it hard, <laughs> or else we don't get to play it with our friends. We just play it with each other. Yeah. <laughs> if there's even something just a little bit uninteresting on there, then they'll be like, ah, oh, we'll. Play. I have too many games too, so that's partly our fault. Because uh, they'll, they'll 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 uh, they'll be able to pick something more interesting. Yeah, no, I think as they've played more, I think they're willing to kind of dabble in different types of games. I just know that it's a little bit. Um, 
Also, for everyone who's joining <gasps> us who's new oh, here, sorry. Uh, the, the, this is Pia gasping all the time. That's something. That's <laughs> did you normal. have a turn? Go yeah. do your turn. Do your Wait, did you go though? Or, yeah, yeah. I okay, went. sorry. This is something that is in that happens in our game. All right, a lot. <gasps> it's the oh, perfect match. Oh, you are closing that off, and then you win the zone. Okay, but so I get second place. So the zone is 13 points for first place. Ah, oh, that was a really painful one to lose. Um, I should have put more than grass in there. And I get six though. And and, and then you get this token. Yes. Can I look at my secret my secret objective? Or my yeah, secret yeah. number? Sorry, so. Andrew, you can go ahead now. I I completely interrupted you with my gasping. Um, oh, I just wanted to say anyone who's here. We love hearing about what you are doing for fun while you're watching us. We know that we kind of strive to be the background show to people's fun. So if you're playing a game or an app or a video game, uh, I usually just let bake, us know. I usually bake Sometimes, during yeah. streams. Bake or cook. Uh, it's a little late for that for, I think, most of the country. Unless you're Who in Hawaii, knows? Legends DM. Um, yeah. Yeah, just let us know. Um, the... Yeah, I used to watch shows. I, well, I ended up re I usually rewatch a lot of TV shows, so I'll have that in the background. But Twitch um, has started becoming that background thing for me. As um, uh, Brain and Jar was saying earlier, that um, like 2021 has is like Twitch. Like Twitch is her 2021, and I was like, that's a great summary for 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 us because um, I think I was rewatching a lot of shows while we were feeding our kid and then I was like kind of I can't believe I have like a I maxed out on rewatching shows because I thought I could do that forever but yeah. I needed something else and new shows usually were too distracting for like I was missing a bunch of stuff when I was rewatching. also I do want to call out a comment Cash Liam said earlier that oh. asked if we'd play Mexico made by the same designers and actually yeah we've been doing we've been on a little bit of a Kramer and Kiesling kick we played Paris on Monday uh, which is one of their newer games Really loved it. Uh, that was our second playthrough of it. And then, yes, Mexico. I really enjoy Mexico. Um, Have I played that? Yes. It's the one... Uh, it's it's part of the series. They play, They made three games in the series. Cusco, Mexico, and uh, Tikal. And I kind of recommend... Uh, we, we haven't played Cusco, actually. So can't recommend that one. But I really enjoy the other one. All three of them kind of revolve around an idea of action points. So you spend, you get like nine action points in your turn and you spend them all, which is a little cumbersome, maybe a bit of an older mechanic, but um, I think it works well for each of them. Mm -hmm. And they're great examples of that mechanic working well. So, um, Cashlium, do you like Mexico? I, I yeah. know that you asked about it, but um, what's the, what do you think of Mexico's font? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the font in that Everyone one is Everyone sound off on the fonts <laughs> no. i have a question andrew yeah. so i placed this one i placed mm -hmm. this tile and then i i mm -hmm. place i should be putting them sideways so that the stream the, can see the it. stream can see um and then i'm scoring um two points two points mm -hmm. can you move me up thanks so and it's the it's same size and smaller all of the in in the same like um dirt like pocket yeah. or dirt pocket clearing <laughs> i think they call them clearings in the rule book but yes dirt pocket is works as well <laughs> uh my wife gasps when she sees uh she's things she likes she sees a dog while we're driving and gas while I'm <laughs> while i'm driving in panic oh i can really relate to that grizzly disc there's been so many times i think we're about to die in the car and then it's like Something cute. Something cute, <laughs> cute or like or a, interesting, a yeah. sign that's of like some, a an, new event, business. an event that's coming. A bubble tea shot that's <laughs> gone in. Uh, assuming it means we're about to crash. Yeah. Griff dog. Fun might not be the right word, but I'm sleeving. Hey, sleeving's fun. To uh, you? I think anything where I'm organizing a game, I'm just kind of thinking about the game and imagining playing it. Uh, I find all those activities pretty fun. Fun. It's not as fun as playing the game, of course, but yeah, some people it's a close have no third. fun with it, but you get fun yeah. out of it. Um, um, a local game store has Space Space Command Station, fifty percent off. So, ooh, nice. Let me know how that is, because I love Space Space, and I've looked at the expansion a lot of times. I just am limited on space. So, Space Space. Space uh, Space. <laughs> space for the space. Um, space. You just went right, so yes. it's my turn. Um. Grizzly Diz, there, Andrew has talked to me multiple times about gasping in the car. About how I need to limit the gas. It's going to actually cause an accident one of these days. 
<laughs> so at one, I'm glad that I'm not the only one, but but I also feel bad because Andrew does get really stressed when I do it, so I'm sure you get stressed too. <laughs> Just read the rules and the neutral color does, um, oh yeah, the neutral color does not count towards majority. Yeah. Font for Mexico is solid. Um, yeah, I would say. On the ILO, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Super Meeple release. <laughs> yeah. Can, can um, have only played Mexica twice, but really enjoyed both plays. I can't, I'm trying to remember when we played Mexica. Um, um, which is the one with the top? Oh man, is, are those I'm, I'm closing this one out, by hey. the way. And I'm grabbing it. Oh, you were never there. And you that's were never eight there. points. Uh, there was one of those games that I played when I was doing some volunteering in China. And I was really proud of myself because I played a game that I felt like Andrew would really like and I played before him. Uh, those three Super Meeple Aiello releases for To Call, Mexico, and Cusco are some of my favorite productions. They are, they're like, everything about those productions is great. The art, and then the pieces. The are, font. Not, the font. The font, <laughs> uh, the colors, and then the pieces on them, they're, they're not only pretty, but they're like, they're heavy. Like mm. the, the different um, uh, pyramids and stuff that you put on the board. And it just feels so satisfying to build them up. Oh man! It feels. Like, I it wish feels I could like play those games more. It. We haven't played them nearly enough, but yeah. Can we play two player? Yeah, they all play two player. Well, well let's play. Yeah. Um. This is exactly. This is, this this is, is how we, how we're gonna decide the games for the next few weeks. We're just playing Kramer and Kiesling games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were well, changing our the the theme of our. Well, stream. honestly, before we were streaming, Andrew would just like bring like it's like we're can we play a game this week? It's like yeah, sure. And then Andrew will like stack a bunch of games in my eyesight, and I'm like, that doesn't that doesn't like evoke excitement for me. It does for me. But um, he he just <laughs> takes them out of the closet that they're in. He kind of puts them in. Well, like, I, in I view. My anti I'm anticipating, and I tell you this. I'm like, Piet, these are the games I'd like to play. If you'd like to, re you know, look at a like, if any of them catch your eye, I'm expecting you to like. Look at the name. Either Google it or pick it up and be like, this looks bad or this looks good or I don't like the font. This one. <laughs> well, I think that was the funny part where when I started watching board game streamers or, um, well, specifically that or like even when chat talks about various games, like then it naturally comes up in conversation mm -hmm. instead of sometimes Andrew sits and I'm like, I don't know what game to play. Andrew will just like, like give a synopsis of all four games and I'm just like, what like I, it doesn't like help me i don't know it's like offloading too much information for me mm -hmm. so if anything that's one of the reasons why streaming has been so great for us is that i think we get like recommendations or like reminders how much we like certain games slowly and then we're like oh we should put that like on the, the list to replay and here's a you question draw your... yeah no, no i have it and i have my oh. move that but i have a question so if is this not going to be able to close because this thing is not here or if it op fully closes here then that um any of these single squares count as a closing so if you, oh, if you can't place a new domino down basically um it's impossible okay yeah that makes sense so i'm gonna go here uh griff dog says command station is not really an expansion it adds two more player capacity upgrades the dice mm, that's nice uh provides sized sleeves and has room for shy pluto expansion uh yeah that sounds great it, that's a game space Ace is a game it doesn't seem like more players would really add much to the time just because you're doing so much off turn at as well as on turn um, um really like space base that's that's a great game so this i've is been tempted be... by the expansions a lot but it the one that I wasn't sure about all the things that the uh, command station added, but it didn't seem like it added too many new cards. And then space is an issue for me. But then the other one, Shy Pluto, is a campaign, correct? Me if I'm wrong. Um, and I don't see myself playing it regularly enough to get through a campaign. Question: This but I still I, want it. <laughs> this is this is going to be. I place this one, so it's. So, so you're placing points? you're placing the. Grass? Yes. So it's the same size as smaller that scores. Oh, so yes. You keep saying that. Point. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, then maybe... Oh, I don't know if I want to... Okay. Why did I go... Mm, I'm just regretting. I, I need to just move on. Okay. Can you move my 
my piece. You got a point. Yeah. I'm regretting the 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 little bush thing that I had placed. I also, <laughs> I also got, got it on sale. So <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I know I could easily convince some people to play because I don't think it's a long campaign and it's such a short game in general that if we do cabin weekends every once in a while with friends, I think I could convince pre COVID. Yeah, pre COVID. Yeah, that's that's a pre COVID thing, but it's gotta come back soon. Um, mm. As soon as we're all vaccinated. Um, I'm excited. I bet I could convince some people to just sit down and play through, you know, a decent amount of the campaign. Eclectic Camel, welcome. Hey, Eclectic Camel. Oh, Eclectic Camel, I have a question for you. Um, do you have you finished playing for the King? Is that the game? Is that the for the King? That that's the the Switch game. Oh yeah. Um. And did you like it? I mean, the part that I watched you play seemed really fun. Um, I've just been, I was in someone else's chat and we were talking about board games, or why, we were talking about how Dwarf Romantic feels like a board game. And then Kwaiju Plays had said that For the King also reminds her of a board game. And so I remembered that I had seen I watched like an hour of you guys playing that game and it's just pretty good, but it's deceptively hard. Ooh, maybe it's a game that um, we were thinking about playing it together because I'm not really super familiar with those games, but I liked what I saw when you guys are playing it. I just mm -hmm. don't know if I could handle it on my own. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was learning it to be able to play, to teach you. Um... And it was, it was fun. Yeah, my parents are fully vaccinated and they're gonna be meeting our kid for the first time, their first grandkid. And there's a lot of downtime when they're around. So Andrew and I were trying to figure out a switch oh. game we would play together. Cash Liam says neutral colors do count towards majority. <gasps> so oh, in I that case, does, if a neutral color ties with you, does that mean it, is it like its own player then? Oh, I, I misread right. that. You do your turn. I gotta look this up real quick. Let me see how that works. Is it my turn? Oh, okay. It is. I just went. Thanks for um, catching that, Cash Liam. Rules check. Um, oh no. What am I gonna do? Ooh, I'm gonna play another turt. I've played two turts. Um, this turt and this gecko are in the Philippines. They call it a tuko. A tuko. So they they count for major. Let's see, they count for majority, but I'm assuming they don't count for the well points scored. I'll wait. Now we're just in a oh, holding yeah. pattern. Yeah, they can the. So in this case, you would not have scored. What? Yeah, and then I wouldn't have scored this one either. Oh no, okay, so how do we, can we... Um, um, yours was, uh, is that the one, you got a, oh, but I got the token for that one. Do you, I think it was this one, the eight. So minus eight points for you. Eclectic Camel says, I streamed it tonight. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> That's okay. And minus six for me. With so many people streaming it, it's gotta be, just okay for some people. I was scared to, I, we got it. I was scared that, that if I played it, I wouldn't be able to stop. And I think I realized there's certain moods where I want to play it. And it was funny because the one time I had a like mood for it, Andrew was on the computer that can play that game. Um, but I haven't been like completely sucked in, but I think I've just been careful because I'm Did back to go? work now and I, I'm trying not to get too sucked into anything. Um, and so here's my question. So I just placed this and I placed this. Mm -hmm. Do I, so do I count that now? Yeah. So I have two, two points. points. Two points, two points. Um, that's interesting about the, uh, the neutral ones. I didn't realize we played that wrong, um, where they are kind of a neutral faction. That's very interesting. Okay, where are we here? Where are we here? Yeah, that's one of the things, Ambi, about um, computer games. That was one of the things where I was like, I feel like I would probably play this more not on a computer. Like, I think 
I play computer games, but like it takes a certain type of game to get me to sit down and play. Um, but I do like it for kind of when I when it strikes a particular mood. Um, this is kind of striking that particular mood, though. This is um, hitting the the dwarf romantic mood, but I like it. Hi, Benita. Um, this game is so pretty. It here. is really pretty. But here, here's a question, Four, Benita. Six, the game's seven. pretty, but what do you about? What do you think about this font? <laughs> <laughs> also, not just Benita, but sound off yeah. about this font. No, um, I was just talking about how. Actually, let's make a poll. That's fun. <laughs> I am being needlessly petty. I really like this game, so I'm, I like to be really nitpicky about the games I like. I don't know if people feel the same way. Um, I just think this game is really fun, and I feel like the font, font is check. not really... <laughs> it doesn't... Um, how do you say this? It doesn't... It doesn't embody the the feeling of this game <laughs> no. um but honestly though it's not really a big deal it's just been a reoccurring joke at the moment should have been comic sans watch yourself grizzly Diz. <laughs> <laughs> no just kidding i actually really like to use grizzly or um comic sans for my my clients with dyslexia it helps a lot with um that particular font helps a lot so i do see it's it's use, but man, there's some people using it in places that they don't have any business using it in. All right, I'm throwing <laughs> up the uh, the wingdings. <laughs> so we got five minutes on this. <laughs> a collector camel. That's a good way to say it. It's not a great choice, but I don't hate it. <laughs> It's not, in some ways it's like, it's not, not terrible, I guess. <laughs> um, so I think I just went. This is a good way to remember whose turns it is. Um, I, I did. I, oh, you went already? <gasps> yeah. Okay. Andrew was distracting me with font talk and he came if in If anyone here. wants to do exclamation point Andrew Strat, you'll know exactly what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew! <laughs> the Andrew Strat just happened. No! Oh my gosh, Andrew! This is why I was worried that you were going to come in. So then, it, how are we going to close this? Or have you closed it? It's not been closed, now. How does that get closed, then? There's a, this line here. Oh, why, why would no. Why would there be a problem closing it? The thing it? is, I don't want to close it now because you're going to win that. I will win that. Uh, this is the area control part of the game. And Andrew <laughs> and I love area control. Andrew's a shark. Never forget when he killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Benita. It just had to happen. My animals were they were hungry. hungry. <laughs> um, the okay. Well, now now everything is now everything is. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. It had to happen. That's what monsters say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry, now I'm just like completely thrown off here. Okay, I got a new, a new plan. So Ooh, what animals do we most identify with? Ooh. Oh, actually, that's a great question for the chat as well. Yeah. Ranjar, uh, everyone sound off. Which of these animals do you most identify well, with? Well, these animals, so go with this first, and then we open it up to all the animals of whoa, the animal whoa, whoa, kingdom. No, no. Let's, what? let's just stay focused here. Oh, okay. It's just these animals. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Let's not bring in other animals. <laughs> I don't know if people can see, but the animals as part of the selection is badger, um, like a wood, whoa, it's like flashing, I'm not yeah. sure. Um, a, a barn owl, a red or like orange squirrel, a woodpecker, a bat, a snapping turtle. Whoa, just, that's just a turt. That's just it, a regular It's definitely a, it's a snapping turtle? I don't know. Tur it looks like a snapping turtle. A frog, a gecko, a snail, or a butterfly. Mariposa. Okay, so hold on. I just placed this, Andrew. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go here. Um, yeah, my, yeah, our screen is flashing. Like, it's going away. We saw it a couple of times. Yeah, oh, I'm no. Not sure Let's see. What's going on with that? Do you want to like, un will it get messed up if it's I don't really want to unplug the camera and <laughs> then risk messing it up further. So that might be just a 
technical issue. We have oh, to... it's happening a oh, lot, it's happening Andrew. A lot. Uh, We're gonna. This is uh, not. Uh, um, this is, is not this? in the the mood of renature. Okay. It's fla flashing. Um, yeah, that's not nice to look at. So yeah. we're gonna unplug it. Yeah, the flashing screen is worse than um, than the font. <laughs> I thought it was Check part of the show. Thinks, yeah, <laughs> I just part of our them. special effects. <gasps> I'm gonna just Andrew's doing the classic reset where you pull the battery out, turn it off. We'll see if it works. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, everyone knows that we uh, got a GoPro. Yeah, uh, the GoPro's was wanting to update, but it has not been, the update has not been working, so. I got distracted, big words. Worse than a thought, <laughs> bird. <laughs> uh, I, oh, wait, yeah, we missed, um, as we're waiting for this to reboot, can you like go, can you go up? Cause I missed all the. Um... Here, let's uh, actually, let's just do this. And we'll, we'll, we, we will just chat with people. Well, yeah, I wanted to see. Unfortunately, Benita, um, I I missed like all the stuff before this. Okay, it looks okay. like we're back for Steady. the screen. Should we wait like a a few seconds longer? Um, I wish I could see what chat had said before. There we go. I realized I don't know. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, cause so before that, when we were, um, cause we missed like a bunch of, I like oh, spam. sixty percent <laughs> has no opinion on the re re <laughs> Renature font. They just like spam. Yeah, the uh, wait, can you go up a little bit more? Sorry, I've this gone is so far. I'm like, this is like, it's kind of fits the theme. Yeah, this is the stuff that I missed all of this. I love the short film Papyrus, Daryl Andrews. I don't know what that is. I want to know more. Um, Papyrus is the font that they use for um, the outdoor brand um, Osprey, which is kind of crazy that a font that is free is a, I never thought about how fonts, like brand fonts, it's just a really bold font. Anyways. Yeah, and then Cash Liam says, looks like the neutral color can be pretty mean. Yeah, you can, cause if you tie with anyone, you're basically not in that zone, uh, which, you can really block people out. With. Yeah, I'm p definitely playing the neutral um, color all wrong now. So, <laughs> uh, Griff Dog Butterflies. Ambi is the squirrel. Uh, yeah, I think I think squirrel for me as well. Um, and then Owl for Brain and Jar. Uh, Benita, you have forgiven Andrew for the Oceans game. <laughs> have you? <laughs> I don't know what I would pick now that I'm now that I'm looking at it. Drift Dog, I thought it was perfect. Oh, yeah, that was the... And then we fixed the things, and we're back. And we're back. Uh, Legends, Benita, I think Andrew owes you a forgiveness moment for the video. You know what? Actually, Benita, this is my official forgiveness moment. Will you forgive me? We have... As everyone who's new here, we've got a forgiveness moment that we play if for some reason we need to for, be forgiven. Usually... Be we've only used it between both Bia and I. Uh, so this is the first time we're asking for forgiveness from someone in the chat. So... Uh, let us know because you know if you're not ready, it's okay. It's not ready if you're not. Uh, this is we're, not for, we're not for, we're not forcing forgiveness on you, Benita. We're, but, we're, um, Andrew's this asking is my, this forgiveness. This is my ass. <laughs> And that's the forgiveness moment. <laughs> Usually we play it because we do a whoopsie or we mess up the rules and we're tr asking for forgiveness for drawing out the game longer than it needs to be. Um, um, and then question, Andrew. I just played this. Wait, where did... What happened? I can't remember. <laughs> I, I will accept, but I am a little sad because I like bugging Andrew about it. You, know, <laughs> you can still bug me about it. I, I just know deep down that you're really forgiving you. You've really moved past it. Or what is it? The is it forgiven but not forgotten? Yeah. The thing is, Benita, <laughs> there you don't have to feel sad because you can always keep bugging Andrew about it because it's it was still messed up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um he can be forgiven, but you know, you always 
always, rem- always make remember. him remember. <laughs> make him um, remember that he won that way. He decided to win that way. <laughs> you know, I just had some carnivores. They needed to eat. <laughs> um, Andrew, can you? So I actually like don't really remember what my turn was now. Oh, I was talking about this one, right? I did t- a turtle and a mm-hmm. salamander, and I placed this. So you get two points. Two points. Can you move me up real quick? And then um, that's that is it. it. I hope that was. I feel like that was it. Uh, all right. on it. <laughs> the real question now is where can I? Possibly oh my go? gosh. Okay, I'm gonna look at that papyrus SNL as well. Daryl Andrews and Brain in a Jar. Um, all right, I'm gonna go here. Speaking of squirrels, and I'm going to place a neutral there for one point. And then we haven't used any of our cloud actions, but we, oh, could, yeah. we could change what's wild. We ha- There's been like no... Uh, no butterflies, no mariposas. Yeah. Um, and actually, I should have changed what was wild earlier, but I forgot I could do that. Let's see. I'm going to try... Time. I think Pia last played the big tree next to the lizard. The big tree next to the lizard. This one? Oh, yeah. I think it's actually just grass, but it might look... Oh, uh, like a big tree there. Yeah. Okay, that was yeah. I was wondering. I was like trying to remember because I was excited about playing a turt. Um, then I'm gonna go. <laughs> Benita Legends. Also, I have a feeling. Did you buy anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. Uh, Fairy Tale in Usagi Yojimbo graphic novel. World's smallest Magic Gathering deck. Whoa, the world's smallest Magic the Gathering deck. Also order two copies of a game, one for me and one as a gift. What two, what two copies? Ooh, can I ask? Um, what game? And also, what is everyone's favorite game to gift? Actually, that might not be a good one because it depends on the person that you're gifting it to. You know, but, but that's a great question. Actually, or maybe not favorite, but maybe like... Yeah, favorite what, game to gift. I think it's a good question. Or specifically, like, what have you <laughs> given the most of? Like, we... Like, I don't know if... Chinatown is our favorite gift to give, but we have gifted it many times. But I think it's our favorite game to gift. Chinatown or Parks, I think, are our two. Depending That's what on the I was going to but... pick, Parks, but we're from the Pacific Northwest, so that theme just fits so many people. Um, so if I go here, Andrew, here's a crazy idea. If I go here, can I also go here? No, just one place. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, like, really nervous because you keep placing really... But where are you, you going to go? Oh, oh you, you went already. So yeah. that scores you how many points? Three. Three points. Uh, 22. Oh, man. Oh, Griff Dog says, Usagi, Yoji, Jim, Jim, Jim. Ooh, Actually, this works out. Great. Perfect. I'm going to place this badger here. And I can do it because... The because butterfly the butterfly is, is wild, which closes this location off. Uh, I win it with four, four v three. Um, there was no way for me to adjust that. Yeah, um, at that point you can place a spot it was there. Lost. So that's six for me. And how many do I get? And you get three. One, two, three. Hi, run a man. And then that is going. Oops, don't look at that. Uh, hey, run a man, how's it going? We are playing Renature right now. Oh, yeah. bye, Ambi. Oh, Have a good for... night. And if you're still here, or maybe in the future, this is a reminder to myself, I'm saying this out loud, about what anime are you watching? I want to know. Cash Liam says he's gifted Azul, Azul three, four, oh, times. four times. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's a really good, a really good gift. Um, yeah, so for anyone who just joined us, we're talking about our favorite board game gifts. Bo- favorite board games to give. Oh, Run Man. I mean, I'm not saying this just because Run Man's here, but I feel like uh, Bandata would, Bandata be, a, would, would be, be a really good gift. Yeah. Um, I think when I think about gifts, I think about like, um, like usually our friends. We don't really have friends that we would gift games to. I'm thinking about. So usually it's like people who I feel like would like more like puzzly and more compact games 
I feel mm-hmm. like. Like Bandado would be a really good one. Mm-hmm. And I like the 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 um, number of people can play it is like a really variable um like a good single player game. Benita, okay. I finished watching Psychic Princess. It's a Chinese anime. So good. Oh, what was the Chinese anime we watched a while back? It's the one about the it's an assassin who's really bad at being an assassin. Oh, because Ronnie uh, Chang Ronnie is Chang the is English the, like dub. Yeah. Um, scissors seven. Scissors seven. <laughs> so He's funny. like a bad assassin. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's so out there, but it's uh, great. Sorry, I'm like really thrown off by certain certain moves that have been played. Uh. Yeah, Benita, what streaming service is that on? Psychic Princess. Oh, and then also Haikyuu. Do I want to do that? Is that a good idea? Mm, I'm doing it right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go... Deadpan, I gifted Unlock. Ooh, Unlock is a great gift. That's a great idea for a gift. I have not played too many of Unlock or the other one, was it Hex- Exit? But, um, def- so you score a point. Love that. On Crunchyroll, it has a 20 second mm-hmm. ad before each show, but that's fine, yeah. It's definitely very um, tolerable. Where are we at? <gasps> Daryl Andrews, I like, I really like to give away escape games. Oh, and, yeah. and yep, Brain and Jar says, I love to give morels. I, morels. Oh, morels, yes. That was, I think we said it in another stream. We've um, put it, it was like living in our um, car trunk for so long because we played it just randomly all the time. Escape games is such a good, I never thought about that, but that's such a good one because it's like a experience. Mm-hmm. So I'm going there, which scores me a point, and then I can spend this. So I'm full up on clouds, but I can spend a cloud immediately. Oh, Runa Man says first two seasons of High Hi- Q. I so don't know I'm how gonna... I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, are on US Netflix. Okay, I need to write this down. Where did our no- we have a notebook that we usually have? That... I'm gonna spend two two. Move this to the turt. Oh, I did not move that to the right spot. Um, She's a martial art expert who's forced to marry a prince, and then the drama and romance happens. She's also psychic. It's cheesy, but I like it. I uh, lo- yeah, that sounds great. Martial arts expert, mm-hmm. and then... The drama, romance, and psychic sounds all great. Also, Fruits Basket season three. I don't know what Fruits Basket is. It feels like something I'm I'm not, I should know because this is in all caps. <laughs> um, my turn, my turn, my turn. Sorry. Um, and then I score a point for placing that there. Uh, um, yeah. Fruits Baskets. We need to get on Crunchyroll. We need to get that downloaded. We're sleeping on. We're sleeping on it. <laughs> Move on. Yes. Runner Man Gaming found our commands. <laughs> the the commands our of newest the Monkey edition. King. Monkey King has is also psychic. Monkey King reports back on what we're planning on doing. <laughs> This is the lore of Monkey King, ever evolving. Um, oh my gosh, is that that can't be my only move? That's a terrible move. Hold on, I am scanning for an alternative move. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna go. My poses are wild. So I'm gonna go there. Oh, they're not wild. They're not wild anymore? No. Dang it. I got that, that bonus you cloud. You did, you did. <laughs> ah, it feels good. <sighs> Turts. Turts are wild. Fruits Basket is a remake of an old anime, but it's like 
it's ten times yeah, like ten times better apparently. It'll emotionally rip your heart out. Oh, it's about a family, love, trauma, grief. Ooh, that's I'm not, not ready. It's great. <laughs> uh, we we have um, grave of butterflies sitting on our grave of fireflies. Uh, fireflies, not butterflies. We're talking about all these butterflies. Um, grave of fireflies sitting on our shelf to watch and have had it there for probably five years uh speaking of animes not, that will rip your heart out um not emotionally ready we have never been emotionally ready to watch it although i really really want to see it one of these days it's just It'll never 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 quite the right night okay to get destroyed emotionally um, i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna go Uh, Griff Dog, Brant Norell's is a nice gift. It's also, oh yeah, given it a few times. So I have to place the Ooh. piece, Andrew, next to the yeah. tile that I played, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just tilting this over. Tilting? Yeah. Um, okay. Ooh, got um, It's not no. all grief. That's good. I feel yeah. like the best shows, like provide that levity to help you keep going mm -hmm. um watch this <gasps> no and then i'm gonna place a little piece of grass here oh which my gives me gosh a point. this is and not then i get great. a score this so one two you got you that. had double turrets but also it closes this one out so you get three points oh no you don't because it's tied with the neutral <gasps> uh but i get the token no <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> this neutral thing, we did not understand it, and it is... It's messing our game oh, up. Oh my gosh. Fruit Baskets also won the uh, Best Drama 2020 in the recent Anime Awards. Um, that's how good it is. <laughs> Sorry, I just need more people to be watching it so I can talk about it. I know the feeling. We watched Kingdom a couple weeks ago. We still haven't talked to anyone who's seen it. But you know what? It's because um, who was, um, was Sarah? No, oh, no, Sarah, Sarah State Sarah, of Mind yeah. had been talking about it, mm -hmm. and I wonder if Sarah State of Mind was in the same um, like mindset that we are now, where yeah, we're like, just... more people need to watch it, so <laughs> P and Andrew watch it and report back. And now that we've watched it, we're reporting back, and we really enjoyed it and need more people. Uh, Brandon Jar says, Papri uh, "Have y'all seen Paprika?" It's her favorite anime. Oh no! Um, yeah, Brain Jar, we're not super well versed in mm -mm, anime. No, more uh, dabble in anime uh, based off of recommendations. Yeah. Um, I'm oh my very gosh. willing to watch any of them though. Sorry, I'm like so distracted right now because Andrew messed me up here. There's so many. It's it's like I just remember. Oops, I didn't grab my towel. Oh. I remember I lived in china for a year um in college and then just kind of realizing that anime is just tv in a lot of countries and there's every genre present mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not like whether or not you like anime it's like do you like tv <laughs> uh, avatar last day bender yeah that is mm -hmm. one of our favorites mm -hmm. love it yeah it was a show that i was like man kid tv got really good if avatar the last airbender is like Kid TV. It just has great nuanced characters. Nuanced bad guys. Nuanced good guys. Um, Ooh, Paprika is a sci-fi thriller. Ooh. Yeah, it's surreal and about dreaming. Whoa, yes. That sounds up my alley. Oh my gosh. This is a lot more difficult because we totally messed up the rules last time. Um, in terms of placement, like, I'm having really bad options okay um I'm yeah go here just you could keeping always spend it moving. those clouds to change the yeah i think i might eventually do that so i'm gonna go here andrew mm -hmm. um so i get two two points boink boink oh my gosh i think i, I need to like write i need to write these down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of I'm just doing a lot of Pia almost always goes through and reviews chat from the stream and so she'll write I down miss... recommendations and who wrote them. Yeah, I feel That's like great. I need a better I need a better system because this is not time efficient to go like what was that? Where was that? Scrolling through. Um 
<laughs> Benita, I do that too. <laughs> yeah, the hard part is like there's something blocking the the screen, and so sometimes mm -hmm. it's hard to like see it all. Um, but I keep losing track of the notes. Yeah, I I feel like a uh, like a um, mad woman because I have pieces One, two, of paper three, scrawled six of all these recommendations around. I think one time I wrote down, um, Bones John was here and he was talking about ginger treacle cake, which he was having for breakfast. And I was like, I need to look this up. And so I wrote it down and then I found the piece of paper just like randomly <laughs> around. I'm like, why did I write ginger treacle cake? I'm like, oh, because of... <laughs> um, oh I don't know if you saw what I I saw that. what you're doing right now. And I find it unacceptable. <laughs> just, just type in Andrew Strat. <laughs> you'll see exactly to know what's more. going on. Okay, I'm gonna see. do this. Then I'm going oh, you that. Can go there. No, it, you're closing. It's it off. salamander time or toko. And I'm gonna go. Actually, I don't need to use a big one because I can go like this, right? Yeah. And then I can score six plus your, the other three, so nine. Nine. Awesome. Um. So, 29. Oh, hey, Silver Metal Tavern. 30, Cheers. You said um, 9, 38. Oh, Silver Metal Tavern in the house. What up? We are playing Renature right now. Yeah. Um, and you, uh, we score the zone because it's closed off. Yes. You get the token, so you get four. Uh, I get two because I am there. Um, Andrew really edged me out of this One, two, um, a couple three, of, of points. Silver Metal Tavern, so, you know, I'm feeling great that people are coming in, um, seeing me playing well instead of not playing well. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I ignore that. I've been playing really well this whole time. Ooh. Um, Legends DM suggesting a poll over here. Let's get, <laughs> Let's get a poll going. I always love a good poll. Um, and also, for those who just joined us, have you played Renature? And it's your turn, right, Andrew? Yes. We really like this game. And we've been playing a lot of games from this designer, which I don't remember. Andrew was... Kramer and Kiesling. There it is. Uh, all right. I've got the answers here. <laughs> Tell me if I do this right, <laughs> Legends. His tiki bar in Philly is closed down. Oh no, I love a good tiki bar. Oh, uh, we had a good What one. is this talk about closed right. tiki bars? We got the pull up. Oh, so you guys are talking about a con. Yeah, there was another time where. <laughs> <laughs> Come to PAX U 2021. Um, it was funny because, Benita, in your channel, um, you were talking about Pax Yu, and Pax Yu sounds like a very delicious dish called Pax Yu in the Philippines. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. And so you were making me so hungry talking <laughs> about this con. <laughs> I run tiki parties. Uh, I would love to go to Pax Unplugged. Uh, we. Where is that? I can't remember where it is, but we 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 go each year to Pax West. Pax um, West. Oh, PAX West, the PAX, video game. PAX Prime, yeah. Mm. Uh, it used to be PAX Prime. But um, yeah, really, we love that. And they've been growing their their uh, board game area in that one for the last few years. Of course, it didn't happen in 2020. Uh, probably won't happen in 2021, but hope, cross my fingers for 2022 to be back there. PAX and... West is very fun. I don't really know very much about video games, but I'm just there for the um, the craziness. And the one friends that we've met, like one friends, well, the one couple that are board gamers that we've met through board gaming, we always run into them randomly there. And it's like a really big con because it's video games. Mm -hmm. um, but there is a board game section that's growing, has grown every year. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it was a whole building the last time we were there, which was And before awesome. it was like a couple of rooms. So. And I think I think PAX Unplug is a big part of why it's grown because they've oh. gotten better at that type of convention. So yeah, we love it. 
I'm I just like seeing all the cosplay. I mean, no, not it's not. I just like seeing, but that's where we found out about Illamot actually. Um, Did you see that Daryl Andrew runs tiki parties at most cons? <laughs> Weird double post. <laughs> Uh, this is legend awesome. says poll looks good yeah nice tiki parties oh, oh it's in philadelphia i'm sorry and now then, i'm just uh, thinking and then about i was asking about the uh the dish Pakseyu? yeah oh that that dish that i saw bonita looked good i honestly don't know how to um to, how to spell it Pakseyu. But she asked what it what kind oh, of. Oh here, here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not on. not the sorry. spelling necessarily. <laughs> wait wait hold on is it? Uh, I just it, went yeah. Okay sorry I'm before I forget I had a turn. Andrew's Andrew's using chat to distract me. Mm. Use every tool that I can have. <laughs> I'm gonna go oh, here. Shoot. Gave that to you. And then I'm gonna go yeah there there is like a a a bat colony over here. <laughs> And I'm gonna go. Hmm. Ooh, Griftock here in the Pacific Northwest, Orcaca, Orcacon. Uh, yes, I've always wanted to go to Orcacon. It's been high on my list. Of Where is it in? Is it in Seattle? Everett. Oh, is it Everett? Oh, okay. Uh, I think. But um, just just north of Seattle, and uh, really cool convention. Mm -hmm. um, it focuses a lot on inclusion, which is. Uh, a really cool thing for a convention to kind of focus on and yeah. but every year it's like the first weekend of January and our um, uh, anniversary is also the first week of January as well as PS Family is almost Usually. every year here in town visiting us that week so it will if we're not in the Philippines it's if we're not in the Philippines they yeah. will come and visit for New Year's mm -hmm. um so we always miss it, or not always miss it. Did you sell something there, like on the, in the parking lot there? Was that a con? No, that that was a that was a con. That was a really small con. That, that was, sounds funny. Like Andrew I, was in a parking lot. No, it was for a, um, it was for a math trade that I was a part of. That had part of uh, they gathered the games at. It was a really small con in Bellingham. Probably like forty people in there. It looked fun. I think you, because you you sold it in the parking lot because you didn't have a ticket for. The no, they con. Let, they let me in. They oh, okay, okay. Yeah. They were organized enough for that. Um, that would be uh, messed up. Tough. I've done choices. so many of those board game parking lot deals. I feel so sketchy, but so many of. Of those deals in oh, years ago. Oh, yes, for Bonita. <laughs> so we can talk about it. Yeah, I'm, I'll definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. I think I've... Um, that's the funny thing about shows is I really like the cooler talk or talking about the show. And because there's so many shows and like there's not like network TV. I mean, I guess there is network TV, but not many of our friends watch it. It's like I'm missing that like social like conversation around shows. Mm -hmm. um, so I would definitely be interested. Um, Griff Dog 2022 and 23 might do the pilgrimage to Essen. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, Oregon is in Bellevue. Has it always been in Bellevue? For some reason I thought it was in Everett. I don't know where I got Andrew that is They always advertise at PAX. That's what. That's how I know about it. And I always take their flyer, and I always say, "This year I'm going." And then the weekend comes, and I think to myself, "There's no way I can I can justify this with everyone that's here." Um, which, like, speaking of like uh, inclusion and um, parents being in town, my family is going to be in town for their first, not the first time, but they're all vaccinated, and so that we're finally they My parents are going to finally meet their first grandchild, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to stream with my sister, which is going to be really fun. I we're going to have to adapt it. My sister has an intellectual disability, um, but we've always thought about ways that we can kind of include her. Um, we might even try to do not a cooking stream, nothing that has like hot. We might do like um, like making ice cream at some point. And then, well, the theme well, that I was thinking about, we're, we're going to try to get your mom to stream making some food, which is, but she said she'll only show her hands. So <laughs> we'll see. 
how that goes. I feel like once we get midstream, she's gonna be like, I could show more. Than well, the only can, reason so. why we want my mom to stream making Filipino food is because I have a friend whose mom makes really great Ethiopian food, and she agreed to like be on our stream at some point. Um, but I, I kind of want to like practice figuring out how our setup is gonna work. Um, but mm -hmm. shout out to Rudy Red and um, and uh, Uncle Jojo. Um, but yeah, their Ethiopian food is so, so good. So I think that's just, I think maybe my reason is like, I want to try and stream this because I want to eat this food. Um, <laughs> Daryl Andrews says one of my super skills is in most cities, I know the best restaurants and tiki oh. bars. That is a super <laughs> skill. Pia is really good at that too. Whenever we go traveling, uh, she finds some of the best restaurants. I, my strategy is usually like just with my eyes. I'm like, that looks good. That smells uh, good. There's a line good. there. Yeah, I always follow the line in the crowd. Um, but Pia usually finds a better place when she does the research. And I... Legends DM says, oh, I went to Gen Con once and played Worlds for a game because I was ranked in the top 200 in the world. It was fun. Oh, wow. Very cool. Whoa. Um, and then, That's awesome, yeah, Legends. I think we read Benita's comment there. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm missing a bunch of people's comments because there's a big thing right in the middle of of the screen, so I can see everything above and below. <laughs> and then Daryl Andrews says, "Ha! When I got my copy of Dead of Winter the first time at a con, I got it in the parking lot in Baltimore, super late at night, and walked like a mile. <laughs> I kept thinking, would someone jump me for a game? <laughs> yeah, I just assume people wouldn't want to steal games because they're too big and they're they require a like a level of interest to even know their values, which ones are valuable and which not. So yeah, anyway. sometimes when we leave, yeah, when we leave gays in the car, I'm like, we should cover it, and I just was trained to do that. But then yeah. Andrew's always like, how are they gonna know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> who knows if this game is good or bad or worth one dollar or whatever? But I was stupid cheap and picked a hotel far away, and no cabs were out at night. Well, well, it's funny, or... Did you just go? Yeah, oh, I, okay. I was, um, when we had our baby in the fall, because of COVID, a bunch of the doors were, like, closed, so they were really trying to funnel everyone through, like, a certain entrance, but they didn't really mark it online or on the, in the building very well. So, I used to work at this hospital, so I said, oh, Andrew, park here, it's great, and it'll be, um, it's a, like, very well-lit parking lot, and, um... And it'll be good for overnight parking. But then all the doors that were close to that parking lot were were closed. So we're it's not it wasn't a mile, but I was definitely like in labor. So we yeah, were just like walking, walking all around. around the... It was it was I was probably half a mile. I wasn't bad. It, like it wasn't really that bad yet, but it was just so funny where I was just like we were just walking. Like from door to door, and like, oh, that's closed. Keep walking, and we're like, finally, we finally figured out that the emergency um, room was available. <laughs> but I want to know how you find out how to get into, like, how do you know all the tiki bars? Do do you have like a network of tiki bar like people? To like, I I, I guess that's the part that I'm like, how do you gather that information, yeah. Daryl? I need to know. Also, uh, silver, sorry, we missed metal, a bunch of Yeah, there's a bunch talking about Unpub. Unpub? Uh, which I'm not sure what that is, actually. Um, tell us about Unpub. Tell us, tell us Unless about Unpub, you said it earlier. There seems to be some you hype might have about to it. scroll up. They might have um, said it, and we were just bad. Unpub should be back in Baltimore next year. I think it's a con uh, convention. It's got to be a con convention. Are we right? Uh, but maybe it's Unpub unpublished games so maybe it's a bunch of people making games oh, sounds cool okay silver motor tavern says wow delivering during a pandemic sounds scary yeah <laughs> it was an interesting experience it was just the two of us which actually was um was great for what we wanted we didn't really want any guests um no guests yeah no, i no. mean <laughs> not that we didn't want guests but it's it was nice to just be able to figure things out on our own and then be a little team a uh, little small team strong team pia wore her mask through the entire <laughs> delivery <laughs> and surprised all of the nurses they're like you still have your mask on uh, um, at some point i think it just was like there's no it's not coming off um is th this is this closed yet or not yet 
or it's no, not it's not closed. closed. But you can't. If you play something here, you can't get in there again. Mm -mm. Okay. It's yours. Back off. Okay. Um, if you oh wait, sorry, I'm not gonna. Give oh no, you no, 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 no. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look <laughs> at the thing and see if I'm missing something. Oh, 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 oh! I see what you're saying. I can do this. You can do whatever you want. If I go here, no strategic advice for me. You are my Moobot. What should I do? Okay, um, a PS Drat. Anyways, if I go here, then I can grab all of them, and then it doesn't count. It does count for majority. Okay, sorry. We should. You should clarify this one one more time because I learn it a certain way. And then this you doesn't can't unlearn it. Yeah, this isn't this neutral color does count for majority. Yeah. As if or there somebody was a else. Third player with us. Back up, yeah. back up, Pia. Off I the mean, ledge. you still would have majority though. But I would. Yeah. I think because it would be three versus two. Mm. I almost feel like I should be using a bigger tree just to get more points. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So five points. Did we do a dinner poll? Brain in a jar. That's true. We, we did didn't. it. We didn't hear what uh, Legends, Legends what bus, did you eat? which bus he was on. Although uh, Legends did um, post, I saw a meal you, already. Uh, yeah, I saw a meal posted from their lunch. Um, their lunch today? How about dinner though? Yeah, we need the follow up photo. Dinner, yeah. um, no press, please. <laughs> the um, yeah, unpublished games. Okay, sorry. Um, you, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. I literally almost started a stream channel, Tabletop Tiki. Why not, Daryl? You gotta do it. Um, we, no, we didn't explain it. Sorry, I assume people knew what I meant. I think you were reading that. Should stop assuming. That's okay. Yeah, I no, feel like good. it's it's hard to, it's hard to know. Um, it's hard to know what people know. Sorry, I'm like, th this whole idea was that, that we can face the camera, but now I just have to like keep leaning. Um, yeah, yeah, you can. Can you not see it? I won almost 2,000 pieces of random bits in a bag. Wait, what's happening? Random bits in a bag? Tube as a prize. Oh, I still have like many bits of, of games? Game pieces? That's what? 2,000. That's a huge bag. What did you do with them? <laughs> did you make 2,000 games out of it? Um, I've been wanting to use some of Andrew's board game pieces for my clients um, because they're so fun. But I'm also, I know that I might lose some and Andrew would be very disappointed in me. Three, Oh no, six, no, no, seven. no. Bits in a bag. Andrew is doing we're, really we're well. Getting getting down to the end here. Um I was about to say, am I ahead of you? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do this, Andrew. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, no, I can't do that. Ah! Okay, not today. Over there. <gasps> do we need a dinner bowl? Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. Oh, Legend said he's, he's uh, there debating dinner now. Debating? So we probably do need a dinner poll at that point. Um, what's, Andrew, so this is... This Tell is us which bus you get on. Um, this is the um, wild. So I can go like this, right? For mm -hmm. wild. And then I'm going to go with my big redwood. Yes. Dang. What's so up, what's up? Four... Seven, nine, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. I, it was a guess the number and I guess the exact number. Whoa, that's crazy. That is a really fun, um, like like con um, activity uh, prize. That's just like that's hilarious. I love that. No, uh, no, 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 no. No. 11 oh plus gosh. 4 is 15. 
Oh, I, 67. I, I thought I was closing the gap. 77, 82. Yikes. That was painful. Hmm. <laughs> Well, let's see. Oh, here's a question, Andrew. If mm -hmm. I go like here, does that count for this being closed? It does, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to put something here, though. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can always spend clouds to get like your trees back or whatever. Oh, higher. okay. I might do that. Can I do that at any point, or is that like my turn? Ooh, Legend says chicken alfredo with shrimp and broccoli, spam and eggs, roast pork over rice with gravy. Do you want us to vote, Legends? We got it. We're gonna oh do it. Oh my gosh! Actually, now I'm hungry. <laughs> to be honest, that's really making me hungry. <laughs> I was like super hungry and just shoving food down my throat before the stream because uh, our see. baby went to sleep a little later than typical um so i had a little bit less time so here we go legends one two and then are we allowed to vote against spam yes daryl andrews you are allowed to vote against spam just as benito was allowed to um to reject andrew's forgiveness moment request <laughs> It went great. Lost our first attempt, but succeeded on the second time. I'm also hungry during a stream. Curse you. <laughs> oh, man. All three of those just yeah. sound really, really stinking good. I might have to have a second dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We might have to afterwards. Yeah. Um, after we dinner. streamed with Silver Metal Tavern, we were so hungry. We like, I think, I forgot what we ate, but I remember being like, I've never streamed during this time or played a game at this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, and it's like right during lunchtime, I think, Silver Metal Tavern. <laughs> yeah, I don't like spam, 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 spam. <laughs> um, so I, can we score this one, Andrew? Um, those are, yeah. Yep. So this is. You got two and I'm not in it. And then you get the tile because you closed it, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Man, still not a lot. The hunger is real. It's Whole campaign turn. of Mechs and Minions at four players. Oh, the turt is the the one. Yes, I can do it. What, 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 what? Uh, the chert is our current wild, oh. which I almost forgot about, which then closes so I get this three, off. One, two, three. Oh, actually. I get the game is punishing me because I was making fun of the font. That's what I'd like to. <laughs> uh, so you got three and I get seven. I, yeah, I moved myself three. I was actually doing pretty well until I started. I, four. Yeah, I have more. Bashing the font. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Renature. I Renature didn't. Renature <laughs> has spoken. I'm only clearly. critical of you because I know you could do better. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, uh, Silver Metal Tavern. I think it was hamburgers. We went and. and oh yeah, we. And just. <laughs> we picked up our. Them down we our picked throats. up our kid from um, from uh, your parents. Yeah, we did an Uber order, <laughs> uh, a pickup Uber order. Um, was it an Uber order? Or just or, like, it's yeah, a call. It was a, yeah, call we in called order. and ordered it, and then uh, they were like, "Panicked, it'll be, panicked. It'll be ready in ten minutes or whatever." So we we're like, "Oh, we'll pick up our baby," and so we picked up our baby for my parents, and then they want to, you know, chat about what that they just took care of our kid, which was very nice. But we were so hungry, we were like, "We gotta go." <laughs> we <laughs> our ran burgers out are ready. Uh, Benisa, sorry if I'm hijacking your chat. No, no you are Benita, not. This is great. Never start. Always hijack the chat because <laughs> always, always. <laughs> always all of you take take it on as your space to hang out. Um, but let's see. The oh man. 
Oh, Brandon Jarvis is talking about Mex. Yeah, the Mex versus Minions. Um, with better with more players. I've I played about half the campaign with four, and then we br- we brought it because we always bring games when we go to the Philippines, and I left our copy there with a cousin who wanted it. Um, and they played it a lot. They played it a bunch. Well, any game that we li- leave with them, they it gets a lot of plays and gets passed around to a bunch of friends, so friends and family. So we always feel really good about sharing. Um, also, uh, PAX Unplugged, when during the year is that? Is that... Is that a winter thing? I think, is it February? I'm trying to remember. I've never been to Philadelphia. We have not been to many places in the U.S. Well, that's not fair. There's, it's relative. Mostly West Coast places. Yeah. And D.C. And Oklahoma for me. So that's it. <laughs> There's a lot of people who haven't been able to, or like, yeah, travel. Yeah, we've, we've so been, that's... we've been a lot of places. We're not yeah. in, in need but we need to go. But we always want to go more. <laughs> Brain to too many bones. What is that in response to? Let's see. Too many bones is a great game. Really enjoy it. Ah, uh, do I really want to? Mm. It's in December, twenty twenty one. Ooh, that sounds nice. But will we be well? I mean, we need to make our December plans actually, sometime in the next few months. So I don't, I don't know if the Philippines can happen this year because I, I don't we will so. be vaccinated, but I don't think the Philippines will have vaccines yet. No. Um, two points, one two. Okay. Um, oh, I see, Benita. Yeah, no, no, no. Ask away. The yeah, what are we gonna play this weekend? Oh. Oh, and that's what uh, I missed. The, I must have missed the question. That's what Tens my had to. Oh, <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll keep Merv. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the the Merv thing just cracked me up so much. Cubitos is good. Canvas is a myth game as a game, but fun making paintings. I haven't. I think I've seen it, but I haven't really heard anyone talk about it. Um, don't listen to Johnny Death Hawk. I'm going to spend two, no, three points. I stayed at Double Tree Hilton. Past two years. Rooms are decent and the walk wasn't Street bad. Pole is done. Roast pork. Ooh, with the gravy. Ah. Legends. So good. And, and, like a, and like any pole, um, you are allowed to do whatever you want with that information. <laughs> you have your own agency in this. <laughs> no, Daryl Andrews Casey here, and you need to play it. <laughs> yeah, so for those who are not um who are not in Brain in a Jar's um chat um and stream the other day, um Casey, Brain in a Jar, and Johnny Deathhawk, Miguel, were arguing about how Merv was. And I was, they started that argument in the beginning of their stream and then Benita rated in. And then I think Miguel had made a comment, just offhand comment about Merv. And Daryl was like, wait, what about Merv? It's currently in shrink. And I was just dying because I was like, oh, the moment I was just counting down. I'm like, in four minutes, they're going to see this Merv comment <laughs> and it's going to happen. There's going to be a very heated debate and I'm so excited. But it was it was so funny. That was one of the ones that I think cracked me up the most yesterday. And Anita voted for spam. Because <laughs> spam is great and also appropriate. Pro- appropriate yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I feel... If he, if he ate spam every time he was in our channel, then that would be really bad for uh, for their health. So yeah. The, um, the... I think we'll, we don't have any of those options that that yeah, um, none of legends has for us. well actually we have some spam with eggs we could make spam that might be what we what we do next <laughs> um shoot but we what can't was... have spam made for us yeah that's true <laughs> that's the piece uh you need three tiles three tiles okay and then did you go wow i did there <gasps> i spent some clouds to get back my tree from up there oh i like that and actually i'm gonna do that because i think 
It would be great to get a spam sponsorship. How, We've also been worried. We're like, I wonder if is spam is going to ever ask us to uh, cease and desist. <laughs> There's too much <laughs> spam stuff to yeah. be. Um, yeah, but spam. We are a- we are as much about you know the other meanings of spam as well. So. <laughs> We should have a picture of it on our on our on our cover. Yeah, and it, it, the original name just came from us making a separate board game account on Instagram because we were spamming our friends with board game content on our personal accounts. Um, Andrew, so I'm I'm paying. Um, I have to pay four to get that mm-hmm. redwood back. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. I feel like, and that's your turn, or you can do it anytime. It's it's during your turn. Yeah, it's a okay. free free. I'm trying to figure out if that's a good... Well, I never use it. Why am I hoarding my... Cook Dog Spam needs all the promo it can get. <laughs> the... Uh, yeah, Benita, you guys are talking about uh, who... Brandon Jar... Oh, Brandon Jar and Benita were chatting about Dominations. Yeah, I was uh, immediately interested in the, when I saw that it got the uh, um, American Tabletop Award. Uh, I've seen the box around, and I've seen it at... Uh, not at stores, but like online, um, at stores, and uh, sounds cool. It's it's also kind of a dominoes style game, right? Ooh, Legends just called in their roast pork order. Yes. Yum. Oh, you're placing there for five. trying to think if that was a good idea and then if i recall a tree do i have to use it at that time or i'm just saving it It just goes back up to your two three four um oh um can you can you so like shout out someone who's not in chat yeah i think so because brain and jar if you're still here Ice guy Nico, I I keep promoting this guy like like it's spam, like he's spam. Um, he, uh, oh wait, oh oh oh. What, what just happened? I always I think I need to remind you to turn off the <laughs> forgiveness moment. I thought I did, but I might have had it highlighted and then when I oh no, it's okay. Um, but we were talking about the oh, food. I, that's what I did. The food, um, the food channel of Twitch and and how. There's varying levels of ability. Um, double N. We'll see if this works. Or sorry, not double N, double K. And he is a chef um, in... There he is. Okay, he does savory meals on Friday nights and and like um, sweets like um, <laughs> on Sunday. And um, he is... I, I love his streams. Um, he is a chef in Toronto. Um, and he would never make a sauce without straining it. I guarantee it, Brain in a Jar. He won't, he won't do that to you. Um, uh, Brain in a Jar says that they love the box cover, but then they're asking about the font. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, the follow-up question. That... Yeah, which is, is always an important question, and I feel like will be a question now in, in the future. Uh, and then apparently there was a jinx earlier, and then whether or not um, you can type during a jinx. I feel like you can type Ooh. during a jinx. It's hard, but if it's a type jinx from typing, yeah, I don't know. Chat then how, to, then how chat do you un- figure that out? Oh yeah, because I don't I don't know how I don't call that one. A type. Did jinx. you go? No, I'm just thinking. Oh. oh wait, I, this is the last time I and I and I recalled this. That oh, was okay. my turn. Yeah. Did you do? I haven't done anything oh, okay. since then. Uh, I never heard instructions for my for my jinx. Toronto has great is a great food city. Yeah. Um. F- um. Nico is a chef at Mineral. I'm talking about this person like I know them, but this is how I talk about streamers, <laughs> like I know them personally. But the only reason why I bring this up because I think Brandon Jar, you were talking about how some food just doesn't work um, as takeout, and Nico was talking about that that it's just been really hard, and they because their food really isn't f- for takeout, and so they've just kind of called it. They're like, we're not gonna try and do the takeout 
game because it really isn't fair for their food or it isn't a good representation for their food, which I can totally like that's such a hard place to, to be in if you're in that industry. Um, but he uses his stream to, um, um, his stream to kind of experiment with possible, um, possible recipes for the, for the restaurant, which I thought was like such a great use of, um, like food and drink stream. Um, all on my wish list, visit Mineral when possible. Yeah, it's so hard to explore food in Seattle. Yeah, for sure. There's yeah. definitely during um, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have any recommendations in Seattle? Don't talk about it. We're too hungry for it. Oh, I know. We'll pick a, a yeah. different day where we're. I mean, there's like the big, the big <laughs> popular places like Paseos. If you get a chance with, for their Cuban sandwiches, Griff Dog could definitely. Griff yeah, Dog Griff has Dog, told us a yeah. lot of really good spots. Let too. us know, Griff Dog, if you have any other um, good spots to recommend to Brandon and Jar. Um, um, wait, um, can Mono I? Josh, what's up in the chat? Hey, Mona Josh, how was your visiting your baker? Do you remember when you said my baker instead of Mount Baker? <laughs> <laughs> um, did you have a good trip? Brandon just said, no, I need the recommendations. <laughs> yeah, don't cut me. Uh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> Paseo, I mean, Paseo's is, um, well, is, it, yeah. is a really, just really great Cuban sandwich. It's been around for a while. Uh, always a big But the line. thing is, well, here's a question, though. And maybe, Griff Dog, if you're familiar, Paseo's came back after um, being closed for a little while. And they people were saying it wasn't the same. Yeah, I mean, we had it both before and after. And I thought it was not quite quite as good when it came back but it's still really good mm -hmm. so i would not i would definitely still recommend it if you like spicy the, food little chung do is also andrew we can't do this i'm getting hungry and hungrier and i'm not need, i'm she not needs the recommendations <laughs> <laughs> um uh um, um, money josh how was your trip um also my parents are coming into town soon and we are gonna try and stream my mom making food which I saw someone said something earlier about Filipino food and I missed it. Um, but we had a good trip. We should go sometime. Yeah. Um, okay. 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 Sorry. So confused what to do. <clears throat> Andrew, why is that tree there? You. You must beat the neutral player. <laughs> That is a really interesting <laughs> mechanic. It is. Um, so uh, yeah, d uh, Griff Dog makes a good point. Depends on what level of seating you want. From for there are yeah, there's more fancy restaurants yeah. downtown. We don't go to a ton of those. There used to be a <gasps> really great hot pot place downtown uh, called Mongolian Hot Pot what? or Little Sheep. No, no, no. What what's the what's the <laughs> place that, that Wally them. took us? That was really good. It was one of the last places we went. Um, oh shoot. Ah. Uh, what was the name of it? It was place? a really good there Asian was place. Really, really great Bell. chicken wings um, there. Oh my gosh. Among many other things. Uh, it was in the mall in downtown. The mall? What are you talking or about? Or not mall. It was downtown Seattle and yeah. it was like in a food court area, kind of. No, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it was in its separate. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's not a mall area, but I understand what you're saying. It's Andrew not a means. food court, but it's next to one and you can see. No, the rest it's of the... not a food court. Yeah. It, it, there were, the... I could see other restaurants that were indoors with that restaurant, and there was not a wall between me and those restaurants. That is a food court. <laughs> <laughs> it was upscale, though. So, when Brayden and Jar, they argue about Merv, and we, we argue about the definition it's of a food, food court. court. If I can sit. In a large place that has stores and food, and there's not a wall between there wasn't me. Stores. If and there's not a wall between me and another restaurant, I'm in a food court. It's just it's, even if it's a really fancy food court. They had a little wall that was no, like between us and the other stuff. It's just a different architectural yeah. style. There were know. businesses that were above us that could look down on what we were doing. I guess in the broadest sense, it's a food court, but. If there's not an Orange Julius, it's not a food court. <laughs> Brain jar. I side with Andrew on this one. Yeah, Fair It was enough. an upscale food court. It was not... We weren't like eating Orange Julius next to, you know, uh, a Cinnabon. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna... I need to look up what that area is because I feel like you're remembering it incorrectly. It was near the um, Amazon... Uh, 
circles. What? No, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it's... Oh my gosh. Now we have to look this place up. <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're combining two, a, a few different experiences. Money Josh is saying negative the, seven. The dinner from, we went to. From from the scale of food court to, <laughs> to, to restaurant, where is it? Now we're like just playing. Maybe we just want to play wavelength right yeah. now. No, but... um. The dinner we went to, not the breakfast. Wait, what we are went you... to, We went to dinner with Wally in downtown Seattle. Yes. I drove, so I remember which city yeah. I was in and what part of the city it was in. No, we but... walked by okay, next, the next Amazon stream. Globes, the big circle <laughs> Amazon things, and it was very close to there. Um, yeah. The next stream, we will we will pull up a map. People don't need these details. <laughs> yeah, this is this is boring, <laughs> boring conversation. Um, yeah, we're we're arguing about a location in Seattle mm. years before. I am one hundred percent right though. Yes. <laughs> Um, you, it is your turn, and I just put myself in a hole. What did but, you do? Um, oh, sorry, I didn't even score for what I did. I went here. Yeah, you definitely um, want to score for that. Uh, That's a lot of points. It was all the the food court talk. Um, <laughs> eight. Uh, Griff Dark, Paseos is still good. San Fermi in Ballard. Monsoon, eight, June Baby, nine, and ten, all the places by... Eduardo, Jordan, the Walrus, Carpenter for Oysters. Ooh, those are all great recommendations. Eight, I have not been to about nine, most of them. 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 14 um, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, if it is still around, but they have a rotating menu, which was always oh. fun. Um, and uh, if you really want good breakfast, go to Queen Anne Cafe right next to um, Blue Highway Games as well. Shout out to the number two waffle. Yeah, that was one of the <laughs> the number two waffle, which is on their menu, uh, was was something that when I was falling in love with Pia, I was also falling in love with the number two waffle at uh, Queen Anne Cafe. Cafe. Because uh, when we started dating, we would go to that place when I would come up and uh, visit for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's is—it's a great waffle, but it also comes with bacon and eggs. It's like a whole plate. It's but the so waffle's good. really well done. But the done. waffle's really good. Oh, man. i You're right. I'm getting Yeah, really that's why hungry. I was trying to cut off the jewel. I have heard about jewel and I have not been able to go. That's... Jewel is excellent. Is Your turn, opinion? Andrew. Yeah. The um Yeah. We've been on the like the last so much food. The talk. last part of this game, like for as snack. long as the first part of this game. Benita, I love I, I'm I'm sad that you are getting less sleep, but I'm so glad that you're up <laughs> hanging out with us. I remember a great coffee shop called Zoka. Yeah. Zoka's great. That was a spot to go to to get coffee and to study going to queen Af cafe going to queen Af i basically live at blue highway brain jar i think about how in an alternate universe we probably would run into you because one of our friends um worked at blue highway um um until the pandemic until basically. the pandemic yeah. he's an an actor and so anytime we would like be up in seattle we would always usually he was like he had a shift we, he had a he had a shift at blue highway in the morning and then he had a show that we were going to right afterwards mm -hmm. um so we would meet there sometimes play a game with him and his partner and... or just hang out while he worked yeah. <laughs> just shop at blue highway and uh around. also fun little uh trivia not trivia piece of information uh if you go and watch the kickstarter video for calico it's filmed in the upper loft of blue highway games uh, which is fun which is actually the when i saw the kickstarter for calico i was like that's blue highway games we have loitered it's and... like we've hung up <laughs> hung out up there um that was blue highway games when we were just sitting at those game tables andrew had been trying to get me to put to get a game table for so long and when we played there um pre-pandemic there was one is one and i was like "Ooh, this is nice i now understand why andrew wants a game table um this is also very dangerous okay i'm gonna go 
But the de- the designer of Calico and uh, Shoot, uh, what's the other games he's okay. designed? Um, Point Salad. I think he's from Seattle. Um, is why that is there. Mm. And I think Calico was kind of his, his uh, or their breakout hit, oh, if I remember. Gosh. Although Point Salad was pretty big too. So. Did you go? Yes. Oh, but I didn't score. Or I scored. Um, oh, whoa. Going big. Big buddy. Um, Let's see. Four, five. five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm so far behind. It's a design team. They have been making great games. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was trying to. Kevin, Kevin Zeus. Yeah. Overboss. Yeah, that's the newest one. I remember reading that. And I've heard great things about Overboss. At least know. three places. Renee Erickson, your turn. I'm, I'm going. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am going. Let me... You're trying to rush me over here. No, I was trying to rush you. I just have not in- indicated very well when it's your turn. So I was trying to make up for it. But being very pushy this time. <laughs> Where do I Andrew go? has so many um, scoring tokens. This is not good. Or I'm I'm going to be getting a offline rematch. And Requesting an offline here rematch. For one point. <laughs> um. And then we can't draw anymore. And we're drawing. Um. How do I move? Oh, wait. Here. Here. Kevin Russ. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Zeus. Zeus would have been a cool last name. Kevin Zeus. Um, Although, if Zeus was your last name, maybe a stronger first name would help, too. Get nothing wrong with Kevin, but when it's put up against Zeus, it's like, it should be like Lightning Zeus. Lightning <laughs> Zeus. I feel like that's too heavy-handed. I think, Kevin, heavy, okay. I think Kevin Zeus is... Mm, is it's gotta be... It's gotta be... It's gotta go... You gotta go big or go home if your last name's Zeus. How about Tangerine Zeus? Tangerine Zeus would work too, yeah. I only say this because, oh no, Benita's not, I'm not sure if Benita's here. Still, but uh, she says she's I'm, going to grass neck. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna place this Tangerine White Claw in, in view. Ooh, can and, I taste it? Yeah, I just so that she now. can, because she was recommending the tan, Tangerine White Claw. Um, I'm good. gonna move this, I'm gonna play two. Well, they have upcoming game, Verdant. That looks delightful. Okay. Is that a Kickstarter game, Dale Andrews, or is that a um, just something that's being released? Oh my gosh! Oh. oh no! Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay two of these mm-hmm. to move this, um, move move the woodpecker to the the badger. And then I'm gonna do. Next time you play, you only get one point per plant equal or lower to the plant. Oh, you don't get their value. What? Oh my gosh, Cash Liam, thank you for this is this is one of the reasons why we play. Um, <laughs> yeah, online we, we learn because how to play sometimes. <laughs> poor Andrew has to like read all the the rules, and it's like it's kind of the the burden is on him to catch everything. I have no um, help. So where'd you go? I went here and I closed it and I placed um, um, for my move. And then you get that one. Nice. Kay. Just by one point. Barely. So and actually, three... I guess I could put... Can I put... Um... One, two, three. Well, here's my question, Andrew. I placed this here. Do oh, I... Yeah, you could put one there. The problem is I'm worried that it's going to out. Oh, yeah. You're only one ahead, so you probably... I mean... Do I have two. to place it? No. Oh, Okay. Can you move? So I, you, I yeah I got you. Yeah, you're three. You moved me up. Oh wait, did you get points for this? Um, no, no, you were. I did, you, I did. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm back with spicy rice and Greek yogurt. That Bene- Sobel crushed it. Yeah. Um, Benita, do you see anything on Ooh, spicy the, rice and Greek yogurt? Oh man. Do you see anything on the table that is a little different? Since you stepped away, Beth Sobel crushed it. I saw Verdant cover was shown recently. Verdant, who knows? 
Uh, they they were just talking about it. It's the next game by the. Uh, oh, so, oh, sorry. Again, it's there's a section of the chat that's missing, so I'm getting part of the. Whoa, the hey, Moy in chat and, and possibly for this is Moy and hey Deagle. Um, so the Moy is our original first and original subscriber, first person subscribed to the channel, and uh, we do analog alerts here for everyone who's new. And so this is the Monkey King, and the Monkey King thanks you. Uh, the Moy may your reaction to your vaccine uh, be pleasant, pleasant, delightful, and may it open the world to you and all your dreams come true. That is your blessing from the Monkey King. That was a really big blessing, actually. Yeah, the Monkey King is blessing. Um... Very generous tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then the chat says LLMK, of course. If they, if they would, um, like, yeah, the... Daigle, I was talking to chat earlier about how there's little pieces of paper everywhere um, from stream of me like like writing down notes of recommendations and whatnot. And I found the piece of paper from earlier to earlier this week where for pronunciation of um, um, neighborhoods in Paris, Chayo and Batigno. I really remember those because I wrote them down. That's great, yeah. Oh, we got another subscription. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Near the end of our game here. Cash Liam sticking with us through all our rules, corrections that we yeah. need. Uh, so the Monkey King comes out and says, Thank you, Cash Liam. Uh, may the next game you learn be easy and pleasant. And, and free of error. And free rules, of errors. errors. And may. Your plays of it be successful and fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're better at them. Okay. No, 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 that's great. Um, Benita. Long live the monkey king. Yes. And then the chat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just started a hype train. <laughs> oh that's my god. Awesome. <laughs> I started uh, a hype train. <laughs> Yay, home with food, picture, in board game spam, and Benita's Discord. <laughs> Legends, thank you for your follow through. Uh, <laughs> the LLMKs. Long live the Monkey King. Long live. Yes. And here comes Mor another. Mortal Kombat. Thank you, Benita. Thank you for the bits. Um, may um, all the best White Cloth flavors be in stock and possibly on sale. In a store near you. Thank Only you, Benita. possibly on sale. No, no. All, like, all of them possible. Did uh, I say possibly? Yeah, possibly on sale. Like, maybe on sale. Oh, on Definitely sale. On Definitely sale. on sale. <laughs> yeah, come on, Monkey King. The, the Monkey King That was a weak one. <laughs> it was, it's very, tangerine Just is very put tasty. All of his, put all of his blessings into the moise. Um, well, Andrew got a um, Clon King, <laughs> the, the world's colliding. The um, Andrew got a white claw like um, like variety pack. So when you were saying that some of them were not good, I was like, oh, I don't know if tangerine is in it. And so he brought it out earlier today, and I was like, Oh, tangerine is in that that um, that mix or not the mix, the variety pack. But it is very tasty. And um, Badger. one of the things that we try to do when my sister is in town is we try to give her like various different experiences we took her this is years ago but i took her rock climbing um just because something that we've learned in our work working with people with disabilities is like there's very um you get very limited like social opportunities especially like you especially like andrew used to um like work for in, like inter integrated workplaces and as an adult like you get your like there's so many friends and like even just talking points when you go to work and if you have a disability and don't work like you don't have a lot to talk about with people and socialize and one of the things we always try to do is try to go to happy hour with my sister mm -hmm. um just because that's something that's age appropriate for her but she doesn't she doesn't get to go very much and then with covid it's like not possible so we're gonna try to do fun happy hours so we're gonna try to make little i think white claw, i think we're gonna have to do like a bunch of fruit and white claws that she'll like it yeah, like because um, she always 
she's not a huge fan of anything with alcohol in it because she's like, it's too sour, so we've got to put a lot of sugar in it. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to have her have her try it. But yeah. Hopefully, she, yeah, hopefully she'll be joining us for the stream. Um, we might have to adapt to the game. We're thinking maybe a push your luck game or word game. She loves word Yeah, she loves games. words game. Um, and then, um, oh, sorry, it's my turn. Um, and then Daryl Andrews says, uh, I really like flat out game. Flat out. I really like flat out is making. I feel like they are similar... Uh, pretty slash puzzly like floodgate mm. games but i but i stepped down from floodgate recently love them still will sign games with them but not a developer for them anymore mm. oh. and then i'm gonna go here and go um, and then Vinny said i didn't know you stepped down uh what's next for you and yeah flat out and floodgate games have similar vibes four. interesting yeah um one two three four and then your turn ironically i applied for the dream job found out i was runner up last night oh, oh. Uh, i'm sorry daryl that's no fun so uh your feed brandon jar were super helpful cheering me up mm -hmm. yeah it was it was such a a, a good stream to <laughs> just watch and yeah, laugh just, just have a good time i heard mm -hmm. you cracking up over there mm-hmm yeah, that's a bummer. I'm sorry, Daryl. Hopefully, there'll be a better opportunity that comes up. Mm -hmm. Better fit. Um, and then Benita says, a really good sangria recipe that tastes nothing and delicious. Dare I say, almost dangerously so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, post it on your Discord, Benita, and I will we'll check it out. It. Yeah. We've talked. I'm excited about Cascadia from Flat Out. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I backed that one and it'll be on its way. I think only one place I can put this. I was trying to get these clouds, but I couldn't quite, it wasn't quite long enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. Nope. Oh, wait, is there something up here? Oh, I could go. That might be the better option. Okay, go in here and go in here. And so that's gonna be three points. We'll just stay consistent with the scoring so that we don't oh, totally yeah. throw it off. Totally. And then your last turn. My last turn. Legends, uh, I'm glad Benita's here, but what time is it? It's 7.30 <laughs> here, everyone pretend. Benita, have you heard of the, the term re revenge procrastination sleep? Our friend who... Oh, it's a Japanese term. Um, yeah. Or it comes from a Japanese Wait, term. Wait, did, was it LTR who told us? LTR Benita, who, who voted against... Who <laughs> he's, voted he's the to... one who was voting against you at the... <laughs> On the TLN the stream. stream. I don't know if you remember. Uh, uh, I think... You had said something like the chat wants me to live, and then LTR was saying something like, "But the seven percent, like, what about the seven percent that don't, or something like that?" Because <laughs> they, we, we play root with them. Yeah, <laughs> they. Um, he was he was telling us about revenge procrastination sleep, and yeah, I've sh you sh shared the article. Yeah, it's like something that I remember him mentioning it. I'm like, what is LTR talking about? And then I keep <laughs> seeing it. And then I keep seeing examples of it. <laughs> he was so mean to me. Yeah, I realized I was like, oh man, I don't know if Benita. Like sometimes this stuff doesn't translate well in chat, but he's that, he's, he's similar to Andrew in that um, he's just, just they just like to raz raz people in the nicest way. But yeah, I realized I was like, oh, that's the funny thing with friends who don't really spend a lot of time on Twitch, where it's like we know them and we know that they're they're very playful about it. Mm -hmm. um, but tone doesn't always come But tone well. doesn't pa come through in chat. Um, so I just played this, and then I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm falling down a deep hole now. Revenge bedtime sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to oh. play that and then oh, get... Um, shoot. Three, three points. Three points. One, two, three. All but right. I don't get that whole section. Final scoring. Um, I think it's just going to be these tokens we have. I was not offended. I found it funny too. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I re totally revenge procrastination sleep. Yeah. Andrew, you're definitely a revenge procrastination Oh, sleep. we still score any areas that have tokens in. I forgot. Oh, um, I that haven't been closed off. 
So I get this one for, oh, and, and then, but I don't do Another anything. shout out again to Cash Liam for helping us with the rules. I think this is one I want to play with my, my mom when they. So this one is two points for me. Oh no. These tokens don't go to anyone though. This one is neutral and dies. This one goes five points to me and two for you. Oh man. One, two, one, two three, four, five. This one is nobody. Same with this one. This one goes to the neutral player. This one goes to We're you. We're just shooting ourselves in the yeah. foot. Five points one, for two, you, three, four, two five. for me. Oh, you're just there. You didn't even help very much. <laughs> To be honest, um, I have not been paying attention to gameplay. So do you all like this game? If so, what do you like about it? Ooh, I really like this game, but I like area control. And also being that I am like always partially, but barely following gameplay most of the time. Um, oh, so. And then we get points for our clouds. I've got one cloud left. We've messed up a rule, but figured it, our Cash Liam helped us out. But I, even with the, the new rule, Stated. You lose points for the values of plants that are still on your board. Good thing I got them out on the board, actually. Except for these we'll... two here. Oh, four points. You lose four points. If you like... Air... Ooh, Petrichor. Yeah, I really like area control, area majority. Um, one of the first games I like really connected with was... Um, um, what was it? What's what's that game? Samurai. Um, oh yeah. And yeah, so the area control part is fun, and I I like the matching the um, the sim or not symbols, but the animals. Mm. Um, that's like kind of it. I feel like matching. Not I, I don't know. I'm not anti set collection one two, but you like set collection. I think, but I like kind of like more like tile or like something more spatial i guess oh yeah more... spatial puzzles are, are some of your favorites it, yeah it just like there's something and maybe it's just kind of as we were talking about with dwarf like there's something that's very like soothing about matching and i think it's more the tile part like i think i think there's a difference between set collection and like matching pictures and like figuring out oh like this piece can can match but also spatially fits does that make mm -hmm. sense like there's something there's a little more umph to it, in my opinion. With all that said, Andrew destroyed me. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but I may here's not the thing. have done I as liked... well ha since we were scoring the zones incorrectly with the uh, oh yeah the value of the plants. But there's something I think I tell Andrew. I've told Andrew about how certain games I'm having fun in the midst of it, and then there's certain games I'm like, oh, as a whole, I liked it. I don't know if that makes sense to people, but like the individual turns feel really um, satisfying. And I think that's what I feel about this game, even though there's a lot of like edging people out. But I like that in, in games too. Mm -hmm. I like kind of messing with Andrew. Yeah, when you, it's it's easy to feel, not easy, but it you definitely feel clever in this game pretty often. But oh then, yes, that's what it is. It makes you feel clever. But then oftentimes you'll get screwed as well because you set someone up for something or yeah um, you had like a great plan it's like oh so and so is not going to see this and i'm going to have time to like loop back and like get that turn and then you, you don't mm -hmm. or they move the wild and then you couldn't move you couldn't grab it mm -hmm. and um three player right. and up yeah and the decisions i like that this goes up to four players it plays really well at two I really um, like it at two. I was it surprised. almost feels like it's just a two player game, but I'd love to try it with more. Mm -hmm. You get less pieces um, to place out on the board, but. Uh, and question about Samurai how many? Is it three and up? Uh, Samurai can be two players, I think. Um, I, can... I don't know if we've played it two players, though. Yeah. I. That's a great question. Samurai we we mostly like... played it more than two, um, which tells you how recently we played it. But um, it just it's such an easy one to learn. And did you talk about how like you could watch someone playing it? Oh and, no and no no! It out? Yeah, so Samurai is one that um, I do think yeah it, majority um, games are better with more people. Yeah, Samurai is a game that we brought to the Philippines, and we have a, a set of my family that like 
are a little hesitant or like to play games or they're not super confident with English. And so they like won't actively choose to like sit and like sit through a teach. But there were many people who like cousins and uncles who just kind of stood and watched us play Samurai and they basically figured it out. They asked a few questions, but they were just kind of in and out watching. And it was a game that then the next day we saw like w in a game of four, one person learned the game officially and there's all of these new people and they totally got it. So it's kind of one of those um, low rules overhead yeah, and just, higher strategy, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, really a lot of strategy. And the best part was like that game, once it was taught and then a couple of those cousins and uncles figured it out, like... The, for the rest of the week that we were there, I just saw the box just being carried to different parts of the farm that we were on and different people playing it all the time, which we played it a few times and then it just got played a ton. We ended up, again, leaving it there. Um, so I bought that game like three times, I think, um, just because I think we've left two copies there because it was that popular. But And I think sometimes I'm like, do we like it because of that memory mm. and introducing it to so many people and it worked so well. But Ruel has also said something similar of how mm. much he really likes it and likes the um, kind of, I, I think it really does. I don't know what, it, what level, like what weight. I don't know if you would call that a midweight game. I mean, uh, it would be, I think, light. A light, yes. um, light to mid. Yeah, because your turns are you're just placing a thing and you're matching one of three symbols. But the the end game scoring is where is the most kind of hardest part to figure out because you're competing over the three different resources. But if you've played a lot of games, that's not a very I think that's not a very hard concept. Yeah, but yeah. I'm I'm saying for new new. Players. Oh, got it, got um, it. Yeah. Also, they're talking about Daryl Andrews saying El Grande is or um, ooh. Uh, wait, what was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it said it's their favorite area control game. And I have heard that about El Grande so many times. And I've tried to convince friends to play it. But it's got that, like, 2001, 2002, whenever it was came out, art style that just doesn't appeal to any of our friends. <laughs> Which, um, I don't know if you were here earlier, Daryl Andrews, when we were talking about that, where, like, our group of friends, it, it really has to... I think that's why we're picky about how it looks. Not because we're personally picky, but we don't have a big enough board game group that mm -hmm. like an, an ugly, I don't know if it's a Euro game, but like an uglier game gets to the table. I, the way Andrew gets the, the uglier games to the table that are like critically acclaimed or that he's really excited about is he has to ask for it for his birthday. I think is the, yeah. <laughs> the only I, way I, to sway. I, I like get to do it a couple times a year. Uh, I feel like we're throwing a pity party, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> It's not so bad because I still get to play plenty Lots of games. games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but those the uglier games just don't get any excitement behind. Them. Even if I like tell them it's the you know supposedly one of the best area control games, which is a mechanic that most of our friends really. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're so. all sorry. We're all the places. Like, are you still talking about samurai? No, we're, we're talking about El Grande. <laughs> sorry, uh, I don't know. I don't even know if that was like a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, we're all over the place. Uh, I've heard El Grande is best at five. Okay. Sorry, we're all over the place because of this thing that's in the way. This th the Our camera is like right in the middle of the, the chat. Sorry if that was confusing. We talked about a lot of different games at that moment. Mm -hmm. We just get excited about talking about Samurai. And we talk, and El Grande is the perfect example of of our board game group um, and, and why we are the way we are in terms of how games look. Because <laughs> unless it's space... Or pretty, or not pretty, but like, like designed well, well yeah. or updated. Maybe that's the thing. I think our friends are a little bit averse to outdated liked... outdated games, even if we tell them outdated art, outdated art. Yeah, because yeah. um, we have a Wari, and they enjoyed the art in that. Um, but one of the legends was asking about how many games in Shrink does Benita have? Ooh, and. Uh, that is something that is uh yeah so they won't play hansa tonica yeah i have hansa tonica because i've heard how good it is again i imagine it's gonna go a while without playing because it's also minimum three players but my birthday is coming up so i might throw that one down or birthday El month <laughs> uh el grande i might throw one of those games down just to be like we need to play this um 
Daryl Daryl says it haunts us so good. The pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will take a very long time to convince people to play it just just because of the art. Uh, yeah, it looks like Andrew Strat won out today. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I prefer yeah, Benita. I prefer to prefer pretty games. I do too. I will buy yeah. a board game if I like the art. I have definitely done that too. Yeah, the I think there's I think part of it too is there's so many games and if our friends like the pretty art and are like it's part of it is like buy-in right like it, we could probably really really like force them to play something that's not visually enticing but then then we kind of like strong arm them to doing it and mm -hmm. we have plenty of other options yeah. but ultimately i think it's it there's like just a pile of games that are really well loved by board gamers and it's like i'm curious like it just won't get played. Maybe, maybe in the Philippines, if like we could sometimes bring El those. Grande. No, no, or not even El Grande, but like Carpe Diem is one that mm. I would never get played in our game group here, um, and I would have probably said no to. But yeah. we brought. I it mean, to my part cousins. of the part of the issue is. I'm half also of this part table, of it. Yeah. <laughs> Pia's like, I'm not playing it if it's ugly. <laughs> well, but the thing is also... But you've been much more open to it now that we're playing. More, yeah. I well, and I think it's because I hear more people talking about certain games. Because mm -hmm. all I know is that Andrew... Um, um, it's only what Andrew reports. <laughs> Thanks, Moy. <laughs> also, Benita says there's a cube tower in El Grande. Yeah, I'm super excited about the cube tower. I Everything about El Grande sounds very, very fun to me. Um but uh, there, yeah. like, I've I've suggested it probably like four or five times on game nights, and it's never. There's always been a different game picked. But I've also put it up against games with better art, and every that, time, yeah, like, that's on you. That's on me. I Ooh. just need to give all ugly options. Yeah, I don't know how you feel about this, Moy, but one day Andrew's gonna bring just the ugliest game, and you're gonna be like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's Andrew trying to force people's hands. <laughs> Fought talk. <laughs> Um, my my first game I decided was 100% inspired by El Grande. What game was that? I guess I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah. And Castillo says, get the new version of, of Carpe Diem, better art. Yeah, we gave a cousin Carpe Diem and um, it's so fun because she'll like Instagram that she's playing it mm -hmm. quite frequently. And we're like, oh, we gave it to the right person. She's playing it tons. Um, but it's a yeah. fast, oh, a fast, fun tie layer that looks great in Santa Monica. That was actually one of the, that was the game we were thinking about playing. We but, almost played that tonight. Um, yeah. But I wanted to make ice cream to pair it with Santa Monica and we didn't have time. <laughs> <laughs> the Walled City. It's still one of my favorite designs. Oh, I haven't played that one. Santa Monica is gorgeous. Oh, it is okay. gorgeous. And has great um, food truck meeples. The Walled City. I'm going to have to, we'll have to check it out. Yeah. Is it very available? Yeah. Because if it's based off of, um, Oh, We've God. been to a walled city. I actually thought it was done by Ian o O'Toole at first, but it isn't. Would you consider Santa Monica a Thailand game? Here's uh, they're cards, but the cards are, they function like tiles when you put them together. Def has that vibe, though, is what Brandon Jar says. Hmm. 2013, the walled city? Yeah. It's the... Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, cool. Ooh. Maybe this is wrong. This is wrong. Well, Anyways, now, 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 now the stream now has become just, yeah, uh, Andrew and Pia researching all the recommendations. Um, but London Dairy. Oh, okay. Got it. I was like, this doesn't look... It's a five. It's not a five-minute game. Ooh, yeah, this looks fun. It's based uh, okay, on that so Sin now City I'm gonna I'm gonna just be looking this up. <laughs> Let's just DM uh, follow-up question: Is you consider a taco a sandwich? Ooh, By that's Jer a great and then question. Jeremy Win kind of reminded me of Clinic's art. Oh yeah yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah, uh, Santa Monica. I'm excited to play that again because we only did we only play it once before. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one I want to play some more, and I think it's 
Sorry, I'm looking at the Walled City, uh, which was um, Daryl Andrews' uh, first game design. I got a shout out in the rule book. That game, I think, is tile. It's a tile game using cards. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to. Yeah. Tile yeah, laying game. Yeah. That I wouldn't it. have called it a tile laying game. But now just, that it's but said, now that it's said, I, I can't, can't unthink it. I yeah, can't. I can't unsee it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, walled city. Now I'm gonna. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be researching keep that a, tonight. Uh, cause that sounds cool. And fruit basket and um, <laughs> <laughs> all the places that Griff Dog said to go eat. Mm -hmm. Um, it's gonna go on my Google Notes of places post pandemic. <laughs> yeah, Benita says it's kind of like how we call welcome to a roll and write, even though there's no dice. Yeah, totally. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a flip and write. I know, I know those those those, those terms now. Terms now. <laughs> uh yeah i i enjoy i i kind of was not playing a ton of board games when the whole roll and write thing came about and just became super popular so i didn't jump in until welcome to had been out for a while and uh what's the other one cartographers had been out for a while and so i played them a bit but not a ton like i think a lot of the board gaming world seems to have played if anyone has seen the TV show Flaked with Will Arnett, I tried to make Santa Monica with that license. Oh! What? Oh. Man, now I have to pull out Santa Monica just to, like, refresh. This is also where, like, it's so strange that I remember, like, what I remember, and then I don't forget. Like, I really liked um, Santa Monica, but I can't, like, imagine it at the moment. But anyways, you don't yeah. have to describe it. Yeah, I, but, I was about to, but... Um, I want to hear Death Hawk and Brain and Jar debate sandwiches. <laughs> yes, yeah. We should remind <laughs> them next time. Yeah, so... Brain and Jar. Uh, Brain and Jar, it's, it's uh, hot dogs. Are they sandwiches? <laughs> um, is a bread bowl soup with the top on. Is that a sandwich? Um, these are all things that I do consider marginally sandwiches. No, you... Uh, a bread bowl with a top? It's fully enclosed by bread. No, but you don't eat it like that. Part of it is like the utensil use. Yeah, but a sloppy jolt is basically oh my gosh. like soup between two breads. So <laughs> These are sandwich. huge, huge questions, yeah. yes. <laughs> I would love to see this conversation go down uh, on Brandon and Jar's channel. <laughs> Get your popcorn and watch Fruit Basket per Benita's recommendation and blame then blame for watching it. <laughs> Wait, Wait, Legends, are you... is not a sandwich. What the heck? And I take my apology acceptance back. That's fair, no, no, Benita. So a bread bowl is not a sandwich, but a bread bowl with the top on then becomes a sandwich. <laughs> no, he's 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 egging us on. He's, he's being completely chaotic right now. Um, I don't even want to know what Miguel thinks. Please eat a bread bowl like a sandwich on stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Andrew. So messy. Let's let's see that. That's I would do it with like a chili or like a thicker soup in it. You're 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 changing the. That's not the... changing it. It doesn't have to be chicken noodle. <laughs> the thing is, what is typically in bread bowls? Not soup. not chili. Chili is a type of soup. Oh my gosh. A Andrew's Andrew's just trying to <laughs> That's very yeah, clam that's chowder. Very, that's yeah. that's what clam I was, I always imagine it was clam skin. chowder. So a thicker clam chowder. You don't work. deserve the you don't deserve any of these soups if you're gonna eat it like a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right. Oh, so wait, Imaginarium is crazy animal steampunk art by Fell. So much, <laughs> yeah. Dagle, I I don't stand for any of this. <laughs> um, wait, but back to sorry. Tacos we, we, are sandwiches. No, but um, <laughs> Andrew's just trying to get to make my blood boil. But bread surrounding food. No, no. Looping back to ugly games. Has anyone played Roads and Boats? I um, think our themer talked about it, and I've been wanting to play it, knowing that it's like a weird janky like art style. style. And mm -hmm. there is like a place in time for janky style art styles, and I just want to know if anyone has played it. But anyways, uh, um, this is a late question to be asking. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Also, Benita says uh, I said this earlier, but we should do a huge game of Welcome to a Door Game Radio and stream it. I'm 100 percent into that. That sounds great brain jar we own it i think i saw it on the back in the back in your shelving unit on your stream 
uh, yesterday. We own it as well, and we got to get it played. Any game that comes with like a uh, clear plastic, like from the old overhead projectors that comes with it, uh, is definitely going to be an interesting experience. So yeah. I'm very hyped to play it. Hey, hey, Tricky Twenty! Andrew will probably be joining Apex pretty soon if you're playing Apex. And um, Food Chain Magnate, Dear Landers, I don't know if we've talked to you about this, but we really want to play this. We want to play it with someone who's been on the stream before, Uncle Jojo. He's been talking about it a lot. I'm scared of it, but I want to play Magnate? it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, Benita says Splatter games are a little intimidating. They are mm-hmm. very intimidating. I'm also very excited to play them, but I, it's like, I think P and I could play them two players. But, um, and I think some of, like, because we have those two and then Antiquity. Mm. Um, and yet we haven't played any of them. That's how intimidating they are, but also enticing. So, enticing, yeah. yeah. And I'm definitely, like, hitting the mood of, like, okay, I really want to try something brain burnery, like, 100% focus. Probably we'll try it while my parents are here. Mm-hmm. So, and then they'll be with the Ooh, yeah, that might kid. Be good. We both love um, Food Chain. Oh, my gosh. All the food chain hype, I'm so, I'm so pumped about. <laughs> I played food chain and did terribly, like really, really bad. <laughs> like the oh, last hour, I'm sorry. basically did nothing. Oh no, Sally Spotter games often really. Is there punish. a way to yeah. uh, bow out of food chain without totally destroying the game? Not rage quit per se, but if you know you're fully, you out. like just like put your arms up and then just like. Because fall I do backwards. know that they are incredibly punishing games, and that you can it can be decided. Although at least in two players, if it's fully decided, we could just concede. But with three players, does it totally ruin the game for other people? Someone uh, was talking so about. Sorry, now we're just on a. Benita says no, so I kept playing, but. Oh. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to rage quit if it's going to mess the game up. So. But speaking of rage quitting, I have rage quit one game, and it was War of the Ring, and we were very new to board games, and I was the fellowship, and thematically it worked that we were supposed to be having a hard time, and the the powers of evil and Sauron and Saruman were strong, but I really didn't like being the little guy, and Andrew was like, it's narratively like justified, and I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> So I really wanted to play it again and try it and be, um, be probably be evil. I think I'm just, I need to be the bad guys. I need to be the big evil war empire. <laughs> Bring it to really? Yeah. I like, I, I appreciated how, how it fit narratively, but I just couldn't separate myself from like, Andrew's like, it's going to feel this way. Like, it's okay. I'm like, I can't handle it he played it with our friend k pax who's been on the stream before and like i think you guys could distance yourself from the how the game was like functioning and um playing and how it fit narratively but i just couldn't handle it but i really wanted to play again maybe i just like like punishment i don't know um uh the uh, oh, great Zimbabwe from Spotter is coming. And Brandon Jar said maybe we could do a four-person game virtually since we both own a copy. Yeah, I wonder if that would be hard to... I don't... It doesn't seem like a game would be terribly hard to figure out if we all have the same pieces. But, uh, oh my gosh, yeah. War of the Ring. Um, I rage quit and then was mortified the next morning. Brandon Jar, we, we had a trip... Um, to Vashon Island. So it's just like, it's this um, kind of sleepy town near Seattle for those who are not familiar. It's and a ferry right away. Ferry right away. And it was just beautiful. And we brought this game and it like, I don't, it, I don't think it soured the mood, but I was just, I just remember being like, it was, why did we pick this game? And then we, the only other game we brought was Morels and we just played Morels because I couldn't handle <laughs> War of the Rings. It was one of the first big box games. We I think that's I think the thing that, too. That and uh, Clash of Cultures were the first heavy games that we um, attempted. And I remember reading War of the Ring manual like 15 times. I was like, I don't get it. It's written... like I remember reading the reviews for the game and people were so excited. They were like all talking about how well the, the re- manual was written. But it was like... a nut. It was written well, I think, from a certain perspective. Like, it covered all the edge cases. And then 
But the problem was it was not written well if you're trying to learn a game, especially if you're not New. super, super into games yet. Uh, or like super deep into the heavy games. And so uh, they spend oh. so much time on the edge cases before they even get to some of the big rules. Um, and it's like all codified by like section 1A, B, point two four. And it's like, so you can find and reference the rules really easily, but learning them, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Uh, and it's not, it's it's complicated, but it's not like, you roll dice and and that's your actions for yeah. the turn. And anyways, well, you, it's a great game. You though. Yeah, that's I the really thing. Like you it. and K-Pax like played it and you really enjoyed it. They, I was in the same, like I was in the apartment and they were like yelling at each other and it was very dramatic. And I was just mm -hmm. like, I want to, I want to get to that point. Um, <laughs> Only because I think I'm in a different place in terms of learning different games. And also my endurance is is better. But anyways, learning a game via rule book or video. Personally watching a video first than skimming a rule book. I can't mm. speak about that because Andrew does the teaching. I so I find everyone myself else honest. sound off. Oh, yeah. Cash Liam says video, then read rules. Yeah, I usually read the rules. I'll hear about a game, so I'll get the gist of the rules, and then I'll read the rules, and then sometimes I'll go back to a video. But um, yeah, I don't know why that's mm -hmm. that's the case. I usually do video and then Andrew tells me and then Cash Liam corrects us. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to change my name to Bledgens because I see board game spam, Bonita and Brain and Jar. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta jump on the, the, the bees. I'm, yeah, there's a lot of people with like, cause board game blitz is also be, usually board game something mm -hmm. is like very popular, but Bonita and Brain and Jar are, in a league of their own separately yeah. Brandon, as B yeah. names. I always, I usually go over a rulebook right after playing it just to check to see if I've missed anything. And always, every time, there's always something I missed mm -hmm. or got wrong. Clearly, this is a pretty simple game and we got a number of things wrong. Um, so I, I don't think I would have done as well because I was getting a lot of points from the value of... It's interesting that they say it's the value of the plant, but it's not the points you score from the plant. So anyways... <laughs> that threw me off. If Rodney has a video, I will always watch it. His explanation explanations are so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'll leave this. Typically what we do with streams is we'll either play the game beforehand just to refresh. And we hadn't played it beforehand for this one, for this play today. Mm -hmm. But either we play it twice before the stream or play it once before the stream and then the stream. Or we'll like want an immediate rematch. And usually... I want to rematch. I, this one will be sitting yeah. out here, and we'll try again. And I, I, I will. We'll see how um, knowing the scoring correctly. <laughs> Rodney work. is a national treasure. <laughs> um, yeah, the, I mean, this is our third time playing this one, so mm -hmm. and we got those rules wrong that whole time. So that's okay. Yeah. It's still fun. It's. Yeah. I think um, the kind of the nature of games. Is totally stuff. to get things wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well, All thank right. you everyone for hanging to out. Raid Especially someone. you, Benita, staying up late, and the, the all for all the people who are re procrastination, revenge, sleep right now. Thank you um, for hanging out. <laughs> Bye, Griff Dog. Yeah, rules Ooh. mistakes always happen. I was just curious. Some people hate reading a rule book. Yeah, I actually have oftentimes before we had a baby had. A stack of rule books next to the bed that were games I wanted to play. There was so much. I sl slipped on those rule books because they're just like <laughs> falling everywhere. But, uh, so, all right, so where are we going, Pia? Let's see. Let's go. Let's go with. Um. Who are we reading? Let's. Let's see. Bye. Before bed, I watch YouTube videos. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's a great one. I feel like... <laughs> but yeah, I was the opposite. Andrew, the... that was the opposite. <laughs> there, this actually is actually really good. Before we raid anybody, I was thinking about how I didn't really realize there were people who were as into board games as Andrew was. And now I found everyone. You're all you're all here uh, on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, Defoob's on playing board games. So we'll definitely head that. that way. Thanks, Grizzly Diz, for that call out. Night Deadpan. Yeah, we're all here. We're all here, not going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining, everyone. It was so fun. 
Um, and we'll see you over at DFoobs. See you there. One of us. Let's make sure it works, that we're in the chat. Welcome to the chat room. Great, there we go.